Welcome to the Deerfield Finance Committee meeting of September 12th, 2019. It's 6, 640. Uh, we have the minutes from the last meeting. Uh, take a minute, take a look at them, and if there are any corrections, I didn't see anything that So I'll entertain a... I'll make a motion to uh, move the minutes. Second. It's moved and seconded. Any discussion? There is none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. These are the minutes from uh, July 9th. Thank you. So that's unanimous? Yes. Skip, are you the second? I will give you the second thing. Uh, let me take two things out of order. Uh, no, signed them. You signed them. Finance committee rep to the personnel board. Do we have any volunteers? If we don't, please. If we don't, I'll do it for the first six months, and then uh, we'll see what happens after that. I can't do it. I would I know. like I, to. I'd like to have you do it, but you, you sent me the email and yeah. said thank you, but no. Yeah, it's one of those things if I do it, I will yeah. not make it through the year. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll make it through the year either. But Better I'll, either I'll, me. I'll, I'll make it through Christmas. Maybe say. maybe next year, though. I mean, and I'd be open to learn it. Jan if January, the year turns out less. Beginning January 1st? <laughs> right? <laughs> yep, Check there in you with go. me. See January how I'm doing. Okay. Check my blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Skip, for doing that. Well, like that. somebody needs to make the motion. And I'll move to okay. nominate Skip as our personnel board rep. A second. Do you it's want six moved months and, written down in the note? Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Okay. Opposed? <laughs> uh, we also need to make, and I aired and not putting it on the agenda but we need a finance committee rep to capital improvement committee as well uh, jeff has said he's willing to he did it last year he's willing to and he's doing it until he gets until somebody's appointed to take his place so uh it's not on here but i'm going to make a motion to appoint to jeff as the rep to the Capital Improvement Committee, if no one has any objections to that. Jeff, do you have an, an objection to that? No. <laughs> no I, I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot again. I've been on there for a couple of years. Thank you. You do great work so, there. Yeah. I'd second that. Okay, it's moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous? It is. Okay, so we have a town meeting coming up. Is it still September 30th? Yes. Okay. And uh, I did want to take some time and look at the warrant. Mm -hmm. uh, there are two or three other pieces of information. I don't know if they really necessarily have a whole lot of bearing on this, but you received, or I emailed you, it, it, I got it from either Brenda or Diana, the uh, free cash. Calculation, retained earnings for the enterprise fund and retained earnings for the uh, EMS program. So any questions on those? Do you, do you understand, does everybody understand what free cash is? 
Or does anybody understand what street tax is? <laughs> you might want a refresher for those at home. Uh, well, the, it's, it's easy because I also asked Brenda to, to give us a list which she'd are actually already done, uh, indicating, and I don't know whether you folks have that or not, where free, free cash this year came from. So this it's worth taking. Yeah, okay. but this is the one that uh, oh. the free the cash analysis. Okay. Yeah. Do you have these? Um, I, yeah, I've, I've yep, just I the abbreviated one okay. I've seen. Do you have something in more detail, though? I haven't seen a detail of that. No, I've no. only seen that. You mean of the free cash? Where it came from. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to make a copy of that? No, I saw that. No, there's Thank extra you. copies here, so. Yeah, okay. no, she made copies, yeah. Do you have one? Yeah. Mike? Yep. 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 Thank you. Okay. So we carried over $175,000 or $174,000 uh, from last year, free cash balance at the end of the year. Uh, excess revenues over estimates, we'll talk about that momentarily, $742,000. And FY19 unencumbered, unexpended appropriation balance is 307000 uh, Free cash balance, I think, is pretty straightforward. Uh, unencumbered, unexpended appropriation balance. Any questions on that one? It's simply money that uh, you know, departments didn't spend that had been voted previous town meeting. The excess revenues over estimates, I don't know if it's entirely there, but Largely, those are the excess revenues from what we call local receipts. Uh, local receipts vary all over the place, $2 million to $2.5 million, and basically what we've done in the past is essentially take a, a roughly an 80% in, in our budgeting process, we use approximately 80% of what we and hope will come in. Uh, in this case, we brought in substantially more than 80%. I think we were looking at about 2.4 million. We probably used uh, approximately 1.8, 1.9 million to, uh, and so 750,000 more. We figured we'd hope for 500,000. Right. Uh, it also works the other way too. Sometimes you for five hundred thousand, and it ends up only being two hundred fifty thousand. So, but that's that's trying to be uh, conservative in our in our estimates of uh, revenues. Uh, it's worked in the past, and and uh, you know maybe we'll need to take a good look at it because at least in my uh, my two cents worth is it. I'd really like to see less than 1.2 million in free cash. Uh, you know, whether we don't carry over as much or we, some in, in you know capital stabilization. Or, yeah, or yeah. or we up the estimate in local receipts. Uh, so where, where are you getting your ideal less than 1.2 million? It's a great idea. What's that? What, where does that come? That ideal come from? I don't know that there's an ideal. Is it? Okay. Uh, it just seems that our budget, give or take, last year was about 1.5, 1. 1. Uh, 15, 16 million dollars is what we right. budgeted at town meeting. Mm -hmm. So this is six, seven, eight percent of that. Mm -hmm. We have had in excess of 10 percent. Mm -hmm. And it just seems like it's a pretty hefty amount of dollars. At that, yeah. If you have a really good year, you've got yep. big buildings going on, everyone's buying a new car, and, yep. and we underestimate. You wind up with this big chunk of money, and the, then the residents are going, look, my tax bill's high enough. Can we get a little better on that? Like, always trying to zero in on the sweet spot. You don't want to get too low where you're shortchanged, but you don't want it too high where you're... Yep. And then we also look, also not to take over your meeting, but <laughs> we also do look at, you know, what are we doing with that money? Like, what are we planning for? Um, how, what, as we'll talk later on, like, what do we have for staff? What do we need to run our town? So, it also makes it very difficult to uh, tell people that they've got to watch their budgets and, you know, the 
and mm -hmm. be careful of what's being spent on that. And then all of a sudden show up with a 1.8 million or 1.2 million so-called free cash. Right. And you know that's just that's not good practice. No, that's all. Yeah. You want to be fair, I honest. Believe there's a gas accounting standard. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I believe last year we, we had about 1.2, 1.3 million dollars in free cash as of July 1, 2018. Mm -hmm. So, uh, of that 1.2 million, we used over a million dollars. That's why we only had 174,000 that we carried forward. Yeah. So it isn't that. We didn't use it. Uh, any other, any further discussion on this? I'm sure we'll talk about it more. As mm -hmm. Did we get something that shows us which accounts? Oh, the end of year fund would show us which accounts were underspent. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. And you've correct. got, you've got this. This is year end. Yeah, that's what I realized as I was asking. And the this is show me what it was. month end for August. Um, okay. Yeah, and if you're really pushed, I'm sure Brenda could give you a month in for July. But I'm not sure why you want it. No. Right. Year end for last year. So yeah, she didn't do July. I think yeah, she yeah, kind of yeah. just That's figured she'd wrap it all yeah. in. Yeah. So this shows us what. So, for example, the Finance Committee, we had a budget of $500, we spent $160, and we had an unencumbered balance of $340. I'm not sure, uh, excuse me, that's, no, let's oh. take a look at end of year, I'm sorry, that's. It's close. Yeah, <laughs> finance Committee. Uh, June. The June one. Yep, we had left over. original budget of $500. We expended 260 We had an unencumbered fund balance of 240 That went into free cash. And I know you said this already, but I want to make sure I am understanding. When you're saying 80%, you say that's what we're, we make our budget based on 80. Can you just we, restate that oh, so yeah. I know I understand sure. it? it? And that's, it, it varies somewhat. So the categories that we have available for revenue sources mm -hmm. break down primarily to three, th there are some minor exceptions, but three areas. Uh, taxes, yep. and I think the taxes last year or this current year, we estimated approximately 11 million. Uh, local receipts, I'm guessing at this one a little bit, we kind of figured we'd have about 2.5 million, mm -hmm. and for budgeting purposes, we we're going to budget 2 million. Mm -hmm. So there's the 80 percent. Okay. That, that will gives us a little cushion. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're but we're budgeting 80 80 percent of what we're expecting for local, local receipts, receipts or yeah. for taxes and local receipts. Just local, Just Just local receipts. receipts. We we yep. take everything we everything that we're that's available for for taxes we use. Okay. Yeah. And basically the taxes are set. Uh, or, or estimated whatever we had this year, we had two and a half percent to. Yep. Yep. Except for debt exclusions. Yep. Uh, there's a little bit that we will add to that fifty or hundred thousand based on the information we get from the assessors on what's known as new growth. Mm -hmm. And then whatever we need for debt exclusions. Okay. Uh, so those change every year, but the but that two and a half percent increase. So the two and a half percent increase on on eleven million dollars is what two hundred seventy five thousand. That's yeah. that's the total increase in taxes. Right. And then the third item is state aid, and there are a couple pieces. There's, there's a good chunk of state aid that goes directly to the schools. That's the way. So, something in a little in excess of a million dollars is available for the general 
for the for the town to to use. So does that bring us up to about fourteen million? Mm -hmm. okay. So that's and then free cash is on top of that. All right. And because of well, what you can see for free cash, if everybody decided to spend their entire budgets. Mm -hmm. You'd be under a million. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Thank you for that very excellent explanation. I, I, I almost understood it. I thought I did, but I didn't want to have that <laughs> yeah. lingering no, I, doubt. I can tell you, it, it, take, so. it takes a while. We'll, yeah. Yeah. Keeps getting we'll more and more good. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's now, a nice. We'll, we'll talk more about the budgeting dollars and cents. Okay, so we've got the warrant. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to turn it over to you folks. Mm -hmm. There. Um, so I gave you, you know, Article 1 is an um, article that uh, Jan Amin from the Franklin County Solid Waste District wanted us to put on our special town meeting if we would have one this fall. And it's, it's because um, any um, contract that you're going to enter into, it's more than five years, you know, usually, you know, up to five years, a town meeting usually approves that. Um, Ten years, you, you need, obviously, town meeting to approve. That's a long term. And then there's an extension for five years. And this is the recycling program down in Springfield. And, um, I believe DEP runs it. I passed out just a little bit of information on that warrant article, and it really talked about, um, you know, it's 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 one of the, the we used to get eight dollars a ton for recycling. Now you're down to six six dollars a ton, um, and there's a bidding process that goes out. They, uh, DEP owns, I think, and, and operates the plant um, down there where everybody's recycling kind of goes and. Um, they're going out to bid again for a 10-year, I think if they do a 10-year thing, they think they get a better deal, a lot more stability to, to that market. So um, so this is really just Janamine wanting us to get that on our annual town meeting to allow uh, allow us to enter into a long-term, you know, allow them to enter in on, on our behalf a long-term contract. Is that, that right? That's correct. Okay. Yes. Other than this. It still needs to be the funding, I understand, or the contract still was going to have to be voted at the annual town meeting. Yes. This is just right. to enter, just to basically right. authorize to enter. And there's the not too many other options. Correct. Because this yes. is the management district. That's right. right. Yep. So it's not like you can go someplace else. Right. Yep. Right. And they group, group with a lot of other towns to kind of get some bargaining yeah, power. Regional, regional. Yep. So that was pretty pretty straightforward article. Um, article two, and maybe I'll have to. So hand. That, hang oh yeah, hand sure. Go ahead. Any any questions on that? Do we want to take a vote? I'd make a motion to um, support Article one. To recommend. Recommend. Recommend Article one. <clears throat> Second it. Move seconded. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. I do have a question, though, before we go too far, because mm -hmm. uh, obviously we saw a draft that was emailed just recently, and there are a few changes here. Yes. Uh, is it necessary that we vote all of this tonight? There's probably there a will few. Be. There's probably a few articles here that. I'd like to spend a little more time with, yeah, maybe. There will be another meeting. Uh, we were hoping a, another informational session is on the 25th, right? Because we were going to have our select board meeting, and then we thought we were hoping the finance could come, and you know, and then we were going to usually do an informational session before the you know residents before any special town meeting or any meeting. So we thought we'd hold another one of those. So if you you know right. if you wanted to wait until then, that or if you hold another meeting right. before, between now and then is fine too. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say if, if if we feel that we need to vote this tonight and mm -hmm. the committee here you know wants to do that, that's fine. I just may have to abstain on a few of these sure. because, because I'd like to try to 
do a little more research on them, sure. get a little more information. Yep. I'm not trying to, I'm just saying, you know, so that's whatever, fine. whatever the committee feels like doing, that's fine with me. Yep. But I, I might just have to abstain on Until some you're ready on if we're going to sure. vote them yep. that's tonight. Fine. That's you're all. Vote, or vote no. Uh, if, if there's something in here that, uh, this first one, uh, unless, unless there's some reason that we should say no to it, uh, then the, this one, I don't have a problem, but I do yeah. understand some of these other ones, you know, yeah, we're right. talking about, to, right. you know. Fair enough. In the first in one, we just did the vote, yeah. and I voted yeah. for it to okay. support right. it, so yep. I think we all did, mm -hmm. so I yeah. mean, that's not an issue with the first one. Yeah, sure. But there may be down the road here where people uh, yeah, might want. I think a if more enough time. of us are unsure too, we can. Yeah. I'd be comfortable. Okay. Whatever. Some of the articles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Well, I we think can... we should vote the ones we're comfortable with voting tonight. Yeah. And then okay. just leave. Mm -hmm. the other Essentially, we end up right? with three possible scenarios. We recommend it. We do not recommend it. We don't take any action. Mm -hmm. That's really. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it doesn't mean you can't come back at a later meeting mm -hmm. if we had another meeting before town meeting and, and yeah. change. But okay. Right. I think it'll be nice to have it documented for each one what, what did yeah. happen. Mm -hmm. for the That's town. fine with me. Yeah. Okay. Article 2. Yep. Uh, so Article 2, um, this is um, sum of monies for uh, the match for the MVP program. This is the grant that... Um, the governor has been using and the town has been luckily taking uh, quite a bit of advantage of. Um, there's not a lot of communities. I'll explain a little bit what it is and we'll yeah. rely on Diana for some help. But this is the um, municipal, vulnerability, um, municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Grant. And um, it's really looking at a lot of issues in town that um, we're vulnerable on for climate. and. Um, you know, washouts, that kind of thing. And we've been, it's, it's not a culvert replacement program. We have been using it for addressing some of that and then also for planning in the future. Um, so this, we've been awarded grants three times. So this is the third mm -hmm. grant that we've gotten. So with these grants, they do pay for some engineering uh, for our culvert up on Mill Village Road by the Deerfield Athletic. Um, we did get awarded design engineering for the um, Kelleher Drive culvert. Um, we also got money for repairing the culvert up at Mill, Mill Village. Um, you know, doing some other plans. It can't be just a culvert program. It's a lot of other things you need to mix in. Um, and we want to be, you know, aware of those and looking at all of those. So part of the grants when we get, you know, hundreds of thousands, we, the town needs to put up money and also in-kind donations. So we've done in-kind, it's like Diana's work and Brenda's work and everybody's work on trying to kind of do the grants. And, um, and then we have, you'll see further down, we have um, consultants that come and help us write, write this stuff. And uh, so this is the, this amount here is $78,056 is to pay for the round three, our match money for round three of the grant. Um, and this stuff is, you would like to be able to plan and say, okay, next year there'll be a grant cycle and we're gonna put so much money into that to have available for these grants when they come up and maybe we'll get them. But the way this program, this grant works is that it, it um, depends on where, it, it's not funded like in a year cycle. It's if the governor has some money that he can pull together from something else, he drops into the program and then they have a round. So you gotta go really quick. Um, so we haven't, and, and we're working with DOR to figure out, is there a way to put, um, you know, for any kind of a grant, is there a way to put a placeholder in so that we have money set aside that we've budgeted that we could then say to the townspeople, look, this money is sitting here, we're gonna use it for grant match. But, you know, a lot of times you don't really wanna, um, it's a tricky thing, like asking for money to just sit there. or you know, you don't really know what it's for yet. So um, DOR doesn't really look kindly on that as well. So you really, we're trying to find, work with them to figure out, is there a way to do that for planning in the future for like round four? Um, I don't know. Yeah, so we have an article four on here for, for round four of that, but I don't think we put any money involved with that yet. So that was right. more of a discussion thing for right. down so the let road. Me, let me, can I, if I can just add yeah, on. Please. So, so just so you understand, article two 
we have received that award. We have a grant award, and we have the project's about $389,000. Your contribution is the 78. There's about 25, 24, 25,000 in kind, which is uh, my time, mm -hmm. the, uh, the select board's time, some of the other staff's time in the grant. Um, for a total, um, as I said, about 389. That's your MVP three round. Um, so that we have a definitive number. Um, the MVP four. Well, so before article. You, before you move. Yeah. On, go I, ahead. I guess I'm not familiar with with this, and I don't remember round one and round two. To be honest mm -hmm. with you. Right. <laughs> well, because round, I don't think round one was a planning grant, and that was just yep. a technical assistance grant they gave us. I think it was like fifteen or twenty thousand went right to the consultant to write the plan to write mm -hmm. basically the climate action so plan. We did not have to match that. <laughs> we did not right. have to match it. The first round, the MVP round one, you did have to match, but it was a small amount. I think last year that predates me, Skip. But the first round was a matching, but I think the grant was maybe like forty or fifty thousand. It wasn't a lot of money. This grant, um, you know, being up near 400000 is why your grant matches, you know, your 25% is up so at So this is a 25% match. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. And as I said, then some in kind match and, as well. And what is this 400000 intended so it's, for? So it's to purchase the, the, um, the construction work on the Mill Village Road culvert. The design work was done in MVP2. So this is actually to build, to, mm -hmm. to correct the, the culvert, to, to replace it on Mill Village. Um, it's to design the Kelleher Road culvert. And then it has additional activities around climate resiliency, including a workshop, a one-day workshop for climate resiliency. Um, it has the, a, um, an action plan with uh, Great River Hydro, uh, an emergency action plan to um, deal with any uh, the Great Hydro if there was a dam, an issue with the dam. It has, um, What's the other? There's another. Oh, it has the, we, we got onto a new alert system. We went from code red rave. to rave. And so it, it has money allocated in it for us to do a rollout of the rave program and to sign up everybody under that emergency alert system, both for emergency alerts and for general alerts in the town. So those activities, I think, I believe that's about, is about five or six activities. So it. what's the break, what's the total cost of the Mill Village culvert? That's the most expensive piece, and um, I can give you, the, I should get you the spreadsheet with the breakdown, but that's, I think, like a hundred and, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars of the project. Uh, Under, oh, do you have the spreadsheet? Yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Mike. So the, do you want to come up? Yeah, yeah let, me, let me, come on up. Oh, yeah, fine. Just, yeah, just, just, uh, just uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that has the breakout, right? Yeah. So for the uh, Mill this is, Valley This is Road. Mike Lipinski. He's the assistant town administrator. If anyone Mike doesn't. Mike Lipinski, assistant town administrator. <laughs> isn't aware. Yeah. Uh, total task budget for that is about $240,000. Our match uh, is for the cash. Yeah, that's just for the, um, the construction administration and observation piece. Right. So, but I think this is the actual one for the construction. Yep. 53. 53. Yeah. 53. So it's the majority is that culvert replacement. So out of the 78, 53 is for the. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Is actual okay. money that's going out to contractors and engineers. And that's the 25 percent. So total cost would have been a little over 200,000. Yeah. 212. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and we do have all these details. I'm sorry, I didn't get them to you in. So basically, we have everything in place to do this round three. Correct. Mm -hmm. yes. Just need to implement it now. That's yes. right. And as far as is there a timeline on that? June 30th. Yeah. 2020. Yeah. Okay. So the work has to be complete by then? Correct. This grant yeah. round, this, all those activities I mentioned close on June 30th. Correct. I'd make a motion to recommend Article 2. Second. If, if Moved and seconded. Any other discussion? 
Would you would you get that breakdown to us? Absolutely. Just e I'll email it. Email it. I guess email if that's right. Email it. There's also um, there's a narrative and an Excel spreadsheet. So I'll send them both in case you. Okay. Want. Okay. No. That's fine. Thank you. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is four recommended four zero. Okay. Zero. Okay. Article three. So this is to, uh, to see if the town will. Um, oh, vote. oh, hang on oh, a second. Ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Where's the money coming from? For this one? For no, again. number two. For number two. Um, well, we I think we put all of it in there, but my my uh, recommendation is from free cash. Is that correct? Right. Okay. I mean, that's that's what we don't got. have any other choice, do right? We? Uh, article three. So, Article three is um, we. Were, Maybe you could, because yeah. so, we're so we had this, this right. Bit. So this is a continuation of the MVP um, items, and we had this discussion, Skip, with you that um, you know there isn't. So I'm asking for a thirty-five hundred to put into contracted services to fund the MVP consultant who's been writing, doing the grant um, applications and the um, the planning services that go along with it. Um, so as we prepare for round four, in FY19, we got an allotment and we got some in FY20, um, but there's another grant round we expect coming out within FY20. This past grant round came out it, within three weeks, three or four weeks, we were supposed to have the grant um, signed, awarded, and the paperwork turned back around and the information was embargoed. So we weren't allowed to discuss it publicly while we were having that, you know, having to sign contracts. So um, it, it made us all recognize that the best thing is to be forthcoming about trying to get these monies ahead of time. So the 3,500 is for the grantsmanship basically to write the next round of application. And then also I'm just asking or, or we're letting you know, give, giving you awareness in Article 4, that if we were to get that award, we also in FY20 could need additional matching money um, to, to go along with that as well. And we don't have that number, mm -hmm. um, but if we were going to come up with a number and what we're trying to work with with uh, DLS about DOR is that I don't really feel it should go into contracted services. I don't think right. you should just be putting, you know, hundreds of thousand dollars into a budget, a budget line item right. um, at the discretion of administration or whatnot. Um, it should go in a designated line for the grant match, but we're trying to figure out with DOR what that looks like in a motion. So I don't, I haven't, I didn't hear back from them today, so I can't give you the specifics on the language, but just that's just some more information about you know why we're asking the 3500 for contracted services i don't really need it right now contracted right. services has plenty of money in it mm -hmm. um, but i just want you to be aware i didn't budget for it right so that was the thing but you know just to let you know what's going on do you know do we come and ask for a reserve fund at the end of the year because we ran out or you know we just wanted to have the discussion with you and that's why we kind of put it yeah. put it out there i don't mind the discussion if we don't know who who was who would Chris, be paid who Chris, would be paid the thirty five hundred? Chris Curtis, Chris who's Curtis been doing been all the MVP correct. work right yeah. along. We yeah. have MVP requires you, they give you a list of consultants you can pick from and they're mm -hmm. pre approved. And so we picked Chris Curtis works for a company called Conservation Works L L C and that's the company <laughs> that we have the contract with. A local resident. And he's a local resident and he worked at um, the Pine Rally Planning Commission for, for decades. So he's a very he's a well versed planner who's been trained specifically in MVP work. Personally, I'd be more comfortable just having you guys come and say, I need 3,500 bucks for out of the mm -hmm. reserve fund. Great for that. That'd be, that'd be fine. Uh, I mean, but, right? I mean, I think, I mean, just as long as you're aware I mean, that we don't need might, it. Yeah. We may no, not need it. At the it's end nice of the year. that you made yeah. us aware, but I yeah. agree with Skip on this one as fine. far as, as knock on the door for the you know, transfer if we need the 35 for the, love the or, transfer. And we may not need whatever, it. Or, right, right whatever the need case it. may be. And, and if this is going to be an ongoing program, you know, whether you 
We would we, look at it. In the we budget. we can look at either jacking up the reserve fund by mm -hmm. five or ten thousand dollars, or mm -hmm. right. a separate line item someplace. Uh, right, and we'll know more probably. You know, by the end, we'll have that idea of what four looks like and what we. Right. What we, might we have need. things in the contracted services budget this year that we won't be carrying for next year yeah. as well. So we could replace this with with that next year. So, if we obviously we'd have to wait and see what the actual what it actually looked like if you used the reserve fund. Are we going to take this off? This would not show up at town meeting. Then? Well, I would think, right? We can, I, can we I think it's okay. It? I, you signed a signature sheet. I mean, you, you voted the one, but I mean, right. obviously you were looking for the input of the finance committee. Yes. Uh, Skip mentioned that last night, and you didn't vote to take it off, but I think there was an indication that you yeah. would be comfortable with that. I, I would be comfortable taking it off. It, you know, like I just <laughs> yeah. wanted that conversation. Yeah. Okay. So, or bypass it altogether, okay. down, whatever works. Good. Okay. Correct. Question. Um, how quick is the turnaround when you, it sounded like the turnaround was really quick yes. when you get notification of this. So as long, like right now, if it came out, you'd be fine because you have plenty of money in your contracted services budget. Right. Um, late in the year, as that runs down, how do you handle that? Well, that's the, so the, the contracted services, we're just actually been using that to write the grants and mm -hmm. to do some of the planning services around writing the grants. But the match is what is more concerning if that were to money. come out late. So you and have that, more planning time available for yes. writing the, okay. Right. So well, there, well, the contract, the concern. amount that I need for that is a much smaller amount. Mm -hmm. But if I took that money out of contracted services and had a contract with the consultant, and then we got the award, say, in April, and, and we had to sign a contract by the end of May, you have to commit that you have that money. Like right. Brenda is supposed to be signing on the contract that the accountant says the money is available in most cases. You so know, that's so, when we probably, you know, we right. had nowhere and to go. Money, we and, come and to fund your reserve. point is well taken. Now the money is available, but at the end of the year, it won't. Be. It would not be. It or must, what's you know. what's not available in either case is <laughs> it, it was a fifty thousand dollars. It was match. more than right. right. Right, right, more than what's available, like in the yeah. reserve fund or whatnot. Exactly. Yeah. That's why this time when we got this, I felt a little less concerned about having the, the signed contract because I knew there was money in contracted services that I could dip into because I hadn't spent it on other services yet. But we will need we, to at some you point. You know, we would like to spend it on those other services. So let me just ask a quick question of Brenda, if you have the answer. Let's assume for the moment that there was some sort of program that we needed a $25,000 match. Can the Finance Committee take that money out of the Reserve Fund for that purpose, or is that? I, I think you, would, you could consider that as extraordinary and unforeseen. Um, my only issue is that you can't do a reserve fund transfer request to an account that doesn't exist. Yes. So there would have to be an account that we're going to put it in in order to do that. Right. Um, and that's what David Guzman's getting back to us on is, is where, where do we put this? I, you know, do we put it into an emergency management account? Where, where, right. where does it go? Right. So. Uh, and in some cases, uh, I assume, you know, if you're talking about culverts, for example, then you could look to the highway department's budget to see if there's an area in there where it would be appropriate, appropriate to transfer the money into. Uh, you do that too. I, 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 I have a feeling that Kevin's budget will be pretty tight this year, just from discussions that we've had and mm -hmm. things that have gone on, but. But we could transfer money in, if if there's something. You, you can transfer budget, from one thing yeah. to another, absolutely. Okay. And and there's a lot more leeway on that now with the uh, Municipal Modernization Act. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. So we would okay, so scratch we'll, that. We'll bypass this article yep. unless we all everyone satisfied with skipping past Article Three then. Absolutely. Article Four. So what are your thoughts on this, Diana? Do you, you know if um, this, this was a lot of the last discussion, right, where we would, where we would right. park money? Um, right. 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's very it's very challenging because I think, like I said, we I I'd like we us to be nimble about. when we get these awards. It makes me very uncomfortable when we, um, you know, are acting without the proper, um, right. you know, authorities and monies, and so. That's basically where it is. We have, if we don't allocate any money, we would be in a very similar situation. If we were to get another grant award this year, we we'd might have not. To, yeah, right. We, we just, might not be able to act on or it, or we just, we'd have to come to. Carolyn has actually said, that I believe Tuesday, we have a working group meeting with MVP and um, hazard mitigation. And that is when we are us. going to be looking at the MVP for program because they're already coming out with some guidelines. I understand they're already having workshops about the next round. Um, so it's quite possible that next week I would have you know some more information about what we'd been applying for and what the match would be. And I think they've indicated it's going to be less this time. Like we're going to, I think she indicated that last night we were going to, we weren't going to keep going for these big culvert grants. Right, right, that exactly. We were going to probably try because to you do have to something. Mix it up. They don't want you, that right. like, Kelher Drive, if we went to do that project for construction, we would look, try to look at the small bridge. You know, that's a waiting period and all, but it's more appropriate as a small bridge program, and then we don't want the state to go, look, all you're really doing is changing culverts with this thing. It should be yeah. other items. And, you know, Deerfield's been lucky. We've been matched 100%, and there's many right. towns that, you know, there's not a lot of towns that are on it, but a, a lot of towns have not been matched. How about and sidewalks? It, and it's quite, well, that's another thing. <laughs> We've got some money for that, though. Um, we had, um, we were one of the first communities MVP. We did our plan very quickly and got into the action grants very quickly. So we've been really fortunate to get, um, you know, this, this kind of money out, you know, this early on. It also may be that we aren't going to be as competitive next time as right. well. So all of those things. So would my have question to be is considered. would we leave this article here? We see what happens on Tuesday. We look back again before we. I mean, they're going to have another meeting. We look at another. Maybe, maybe we just skip it all it's together, or we right. say, "Look, we I think we're about this amount of money." I just think yeah. if we leave it here for now, we're good f until we meet again. But yeah, I think um, we could leave it as a sum of money, but I don't it. think it's appropriate for us to ask you to obviously make right. a recommendation on that, that when, when you moment. don't have right. that number. Yeah, <laughs> if, if there's if there's no money in there, right, right. right instinct says that I should be voting do not recommend mm -hmm. not not right yeah. right not right. no action I get you yeah. yep. yep yep I just wanted to kind of maybe leave it until yeah Tuesday meeting see what happens come back on the 25th and we know so, whether we'd put money in it or not right. or just delete it I was going to suggest when this came up and I didn't see a dollar figure here to suggest to the committee no action right until we got perfect further information yeah that was going to be my suggestion, but so the meetings, town meetings on the thirtieth. Yep. You're saying on the twenty fifth. That's Tuesday. That's Wednesday, right? Wednesday. Right. So we're a regular going to do meeting, but right. We were going to have another. Just go through the warrant, make sure everyone understands what the articles are, and we answer any questions about it. And uh, do you want to plan on scheduling a meeting for two weeks from today or two weeks from? Wednesday? Yeah, what is that? Uh, That's the 20 25th or 26th. 25th, yep. 26th. And we were hoping you'd, you'd maybe meet with, well, I don't know if you'd be there with us, I think, right? Or, or I know we were going to do the informational thing first and then go into our select board meeting, but it would be great if, if, I don't know if you were around, if you could yeah, come. That's, I will make an effort to be there. And That'd be great. Anyone else wants to? So what's that look like for everybody? 26th, is that? 26th is, would be better for me. 26th would be well. better for you? For me as well. As you, okay. Okay, let's try the 26th then, see if we can get some of the other members. Six o'clock? Six. Yep, that sounds good. good. All right, so we'll skip over article four until then. Great, thank you. Then we'll also have a, uh, hopefully have talked to DOR and have a motion that um, yeah, aligns the accounts as we talked about that puts it where we want it to land if we in fact vote it. Uh, Article 5. So Article 5 is not, um, 
so much a, a matching grant that we expected, but we had, um, there was the opportunity at the end of last fiscal year to apply for remaining monies in the emergency planning grant. Um, that's a non-competitive grant that's issued every year and the town gets an allotment, but at the end of the federal fiscal year, if there's monies available, um, the uh, MEMA and FEMA will put them all together and put out a competitive grant round. So our emergency management director, Lori McComb, had applied for that and got awarded, um, and that was for a solar sign. And the uh, we looked at the state bid. It's on the state bid, and it ended up being about seven to eight thousand dollars more than we had gotten the grant award for. So the grant award is ten thousand. In order to get the sign, um, it's another uh, eight. So where's the sign going to go? Uh, it's an emergency. It's a solar sign. It can be. It's on a trailer. It can be moved <coughs> around. It can go in the center of town. It can go anywhere. It's to. Uh, it's for emergency operations alerts, or also it can be for general, uh, general operations. So we, it's going to be shared. Uh, that's why the article is like that. It's it's for emergency, but it can be used to announce you know town meetings or other town activities. It can go in. It can go anywhere. It's uh, mobile. Where where is it going to be stored? I would imagine that the that's a good question. Do you know, Brenda? Police station, perhaps, or the if it's on a trailer. I think it's on a trailer. It's, it's a, a variable message sign. You've seen them all over yeah. the place. Yeah, it have it's Not changeable sure. copy. You can program it. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. So actually, don't I don't know the answer, Jeff. I'm just wondering where it's yeah. going to be stored. Yeah. And then yeah. 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 if you're, if you're not undercover the during the winter, that sign's just not going to last very that's long. Right. Yeah. And then you know, also, who's going to maintain it? You know, so there's other other things involved here that are just. Yep. And the you had mentioned that there's ten thousand that was available yes. with grant money, Correct. and we'd need an additional eight thousand yep. for up a sign. To, up to up eight. To eight. eight. I mean, right, we up could up to eight. So you're right. roughly around eighteen thousand for the sign board. Right. We could go out. Let to me ask a question. Try to get more that ten thousand dollars could that be applied to something else that the town may need? No. And forget the sign board. No. That's what the grant was no. for. Was the yes. sign. Correct. Just for the signboard specifically. <clears throat> Correct. I guess my question is now: Do we really need a signboard? And that's probably a question for Lori. Right. Yeah. Yes. Her that recommendation is that not only do we need one, but two. we need two. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's exactly. actually a good I, way. I, to... I know I'm kind of a newbie to the town <laughs> because I've only lived here about 50 years, <laughs> but. For 50 years, we seem to have gotten boards. along fairly well without a signboard. So, and, and I realize, you know, there's a little grant money, but, you know, when people, I guess when people start seeing all these dollars after, you know, after a, a, a positive sewer vote with 19 million, I, I think you're going to have some people start questioning this. Yeah. And I know, once again, it's nickel dime type thing. But I think hopefully you keep in mind where people are coming from. Sure. Sometimes people get nervous where you're spend, 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 and all of a sudden we're on, it almost seems like we're on a credit card mentality and, and, and not dealing with some of the things that maybe we should be dealing with so maybe, as far as, right. Maybe at the 20th. And, and I, I'm just playing devil's advocate, yeah. just throwing it out there. Of course. So, I, so I agree know. with you, Jeff. I would like to know, you know, if the finance committee is going to recommend this or not recommend this. I would like to hear yeah. a good, Let's a good debate not. about yeah, what, yeah. you know pros and cons and right. what is the thought going into it. So at That'd that meeting, yeah, we can maybe, maybe have that. Lori could come yeah, I will. I'll let Lori know. I'm sure, I there's think more to it than I understand. Is. I'd like to know what it is. Right. No, we did not sign. No, this no. grant has been signed. This oh. grant has been submitted, yes. Oh, the grant has been. The award has been made, and we signed the paperwork and submitted it. Not me, but. So, so we need a what was that for the the select board. Basically, we don't have a choice in this. The paperwork has been signed. <laughs> but but we have a choice like as to. Article 2, the paperwork was signed. Yeah. yeah. So, but we have a choice as to where the money comes from, right? So we could. Move to take eight thousand dollars out of the selectman salary I account. Go in there. <laughs> I didn't sign that. <laughs> well, uh, it had to be a selectman like, signing no, in some place. Before I decide how supportive I'm not interested right. in, in uh, yeah. 
Yeah. I'm not going to die on a, on a sign, I'll tell you that. Right. But, <laughs> but, but in, you know, to be, you know, I, 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 I feel a responsibility, and I don't take it lightly. I don't like to come to you like this after mm -hmm. these things, and that's why exactly why I am putting all of these in front of you now and talking about these things even going forward because right. um, we did have a discussion with Lori, and I, I had told her we didn't have the money available, but it was one of those things where it was due on a, you know, it had to go back in or where we were going to lose the 10000 So we, you know, we, we made a decision to do that, knowing again that we had some available monies now in reserve and otherwise but I recognize that's not the proper way to go about doing that and we need mm -hmm. to you know and I still think she should come and talk to yes. the sign because as I said or as Mike said she's wanting well. another one and and we were quite taken aback at the at the cost of it as well we didn't expect it to go over as much now, was that a state bid it was well that's a so so let me say the state <laughs> the the amount is on the state contract we could bid we can go out to bid and we might be able to get a lower amount that's right. the up to mm, amount up but to. I just didn't want to have it be or, you know short or. by a little you know couple thousand <laughs> so we we just put it up to eight but she um, that's just the number we got from the state contract we could just buy it off the state contract but we could go out to bid as well and try to get a more so, competitive or local, you know, competitive bid. So, so when you go out and do the grant, was the grant for limited to ten thousand, or did yes. we just? Oh, okay. it was a ten thousand. Yeah, it was limited, but it was. She went for that particular per purpose, and that was what the amount was up. You know, the up to ten thousand, I presume. And then when we went, when she went to actually go to look at the sign board, or I don't know what what the order of act, you know order was, but basically then we found out the sign board was much more than I'm what the like grant award. Picky, but it <laughs> seems like when you apply for a grant to buy a sign board, and there's you a sign board sign on board the state is. list for eighteen thousand dollars, you should know going into it and, that and it's eighteen thousand. It might have been that we did, and when I say we, I don't. I, I didn't, unfortunately. Oh. I wasn't privy to that conversation. But I'm not suggesting that somebody didn't know that. We, the administration, didn't give you that information mm -hmm. readily. So I apologize. Do we, as a committee, just want to put this on hold, this article on hold, also till yeah. our next meeting, and see if we can get more information, or we can vote it yeah. if people want and vote it, take no action, or. I I would be happy to hold it in, until we have the explanation about. Yeah. There's so much I don't know about public safety. I yeah. don't want to guess at the, the importance or use or motivation. <clears throat> Skip, do you feel comfortable with that? Or, or where maybe we could ask for other help? I'd love to at least let Lori come in and, and yeah. you know explain to you what, what happened in the, the order of things. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right, so we can table this or take no action on the Article six, is that one we're, no, Article five. Article five, yep. Okay, all those in favor of taking no action on Article five? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So we're unanimous on that. So I have a question. I know I just voted and we're done, but um, so on Article five, we said we're just going to put it on hold and hold the next table meeting. whatever you want to call it so today. articles three and four we didn't actually vote on we just sort of said we were going to put it on hold until next question. meeting yeah should we vote that we're holding um, those <laughs> well we actually think we're going to withdraw article three oh, yeah. so article. we're going to remove that from yep. the warrant so i would okay, say so we're withdrawing that and then article four yeah that's you yeah. Don't know so if we I guess my real question is, if we vote right now saying we're going to take no action on Article 5 and it goes to town meeting without us discussing it again for some reason, then at town meeting we're going to say finance committee took no action. Uh, Art Article 3 was, my understanding is the selectmen are going to remove that from Correct. the, right. so that no, right I'm asking about 5. Yeah. Because yeah. right now I feel like all the discussion I'm hearing is pretty negative pending more information. So I feel like saying we take no action on it is not indicative of the feeling of the committee. I mean, I would rather just skip it and not vote on it and vote on it next meeting. But. 
Well, that's basically what I think yeah. we're saying okay. for Article right. 5 is okay. you know, when we, right, because we can revisit Article 5 at yeah. our next yeah. meeting. Okay. And we can vote at that time a yes or a no or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so what I had planned to do, and, well, and you. you saying, Julie. And I'm sorry, and just, just as a form of, of course of action in terms of putting the recommendations on, I had planned to, when I post the warrant, so the, the board assigned a signature page and I would go back and, and add on your recommendations, post the warrant, which is just the articles, mm -hmm. with whatever you've made for recommendations. And then when we do the motions, just like an annual, we could also then, we, we sometimes make out. some changes in the <coughs> language and then we also put your recommendations there yep. as well. Yep. So. That's what I intended to do. And you can wait until after the 26th to do that? Yes, I mean, I would put what ones you make tonight on the warrant, just so, since you did, put them on there. I'd, put, I'd print them on the warrant, but then when we, when you do the mo when we go to do the next one, when we do the motions at town meeting, they would appear on mm -hmm. those, plus we would put them on the website before and the meeting. And the motions can be changed right up to town meeting and That's on right. town meeting floor. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, and, yeah, and if you wanted to, if you had to out. print, you know, produce the uh, the warrant to hand out at town meeting, whatever it is you're going to hand out at yep. town mm -hmm. meeting that says finance committee recommend re recommendation, then right. you can put finance committee recommendation at town meeting. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so that's exactly. It. So yeah. they know that you're going to yeah. address yeah. it then. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Is that satisfactory? Do should we be consistent and vote to hold Article 4 as well? Yeah, I'm not sure. What what did we do on 4? We did we kind of skip that. Yeah. We just, we just skipped, skipped it. it. We, yeah. we held, <laughs> right. We look, we're looking for a little more information. Yep. We're going to hold. Hopefully That's the one that, you're gonna, that we're going to have. Uh, After the meeting Tuesday, we might be able to have a little more zero in, either whether right. we're going to do right. anything or not. Correct. Okay. Just wanted to keep a placeholder, unlike three, which we knew we weren't going to do anything with. Yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no money here, and you know. Right. Yeah. And you, there will be a monetary figure two weeks from now. Are you? Which one for are you four? talking about, Skip? Number four. four? Yeah. yeah. There, yeah. There may, yes. Either. Yeah. yeah yes. Or, or not four. at all. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We'll either have a figure for you, or we'll pull the thing completely. Right. So we we will take this one up on. Uh, the I, my question is just strictly procedural. Since we voted to hold, you know, the Article Five, I'm wondering if we should vote to hold Article sure. Four, or Might if as that's well. moot. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then I'll move to hold Article Four. <laughs> second. <I'll> second. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's perfect. Uh, we all seconded, so I guess that's unanimous. All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. Yeah. Okay, Pose. <laughs> unanimous. <laughs> okay, number six. All right, number six. I want my money back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So Get we, out there. you know, we turned back thirty-one thousand um, dollars. I want thirty of that back. Um, we have. I don't see any thirty thousand bucks. Uh, I could, I could show you right where it was. Thirty-one rolled back from select board salaries. Thirty-one thousand six fifty-nine. So. Um, you know, and, and that's just a, you know, kind of a joke, but I think um, we, we've been really looking at changing our philosophy and how we run that select board and run this town, really. Um, I'm kind of coming into, you know, I'm still a spring chicken, but I'm starting to get an idea of how we go about running this town. And So you, you want to explain what the 31,000, how that breaks down? Yeah, I do. So. Um, so I think, you know, the way, the way we've been running the select board's office hasn't worked for me in the, in the last four years that I've been doing this job. It's been very difficult to have, um, just to conduct the business of the town with not having the correct staff and support. And through the last um, town administrator search, um, we kind of wound up with a different, different animal on how we're, how we're kind of running that, running the office right now, or the vision that I see moving forward, more like a kind of a double barrel shotgun is we have two very qualified people um, tackling the needs of the town and, and still needing help on top of that. Um, there's an immense amount of work that goes through that office and 
we have been the catch-all of limited staff, or very understaffed or anemic staff in many parts of this business, uh, this, this town, and the inspections department, board of health, um, and our select board, we've been just limping along with multiple changeovers, um, no real admin staff, um, and I'll take responsibility in that they haven't, you know, they haven't, the searches that we have done haven't bared fruit and uh, for a variety of reasons, for the amount of money we're offering, um, you know, maybe from the, you know, from the reputation, people just didn't apply. Um, I, I'm not sure what the reasons were, but um, I feel like right now, I feel the best that I've felt in, in my four years, and that I have really good people doing really good work. Um, ramping up, getting acquainted, dividing the work, and then also giving me recommendations, which I can see myself too, and other areas where we need support in that office. And, you know, we're, we're not supporting our planning board. We're not supporting our board of health. We're not doing a lot of board of health because we're consumed with the day-to-day -day work of the select board. I'm working way too much. Um, you know, I love this. I love this job. I love this town. I love giving a lot of energy to it. Um, but um, I feel like you're getting a bargain at six grand. <laughs> it's just it's been a lot of a lot of work pushing stuff forward and, and issues forward. And um, I just want to I want to flush out that office to be um, to do the exempl exemplary work that I know we can do and that we have ahead of us. But we've been running into. Um, you know the, the the staff is the the staff that we've had have not have not had the capabilities to do the big work to bring us in the money um, to make us efficient um, because they've been tied up with all the minutia of, of an everyday you know running an office without having the the support staff to do that so um, you know our planning board is suffering immensely for it and the town on a whole suffers immensely for it you've got the Dollar General stuff that's going on we're spending money on um, attorneys and, and, and legal, you know, on the back end when we should spend a small amount on the front end and support on the front end um, to keep us out of some of that mess. Um, we've got um, just many areas of the business of the town that just is, has been suffering the last couple of years on uh, because we, we haven't been prepared enough to do what we need to do. So I want to push some of that money back that we've been giving back year after year and um, support. So what support money have we been giving back year after year? Yeah, well, we put money in our budget and we, we don't spend it. So we give it back to free cash every year. Put 31, money in the budget 000. where? What's that? I think in, in our select board, the select board salary budgets for the last yeah. well, handful of years, what the we, town's the what board's we been turning to, money back. Right. What we expect to run the town on, we give back because we don't have the staff to do it. Because so, you didn't fill the vacant positions. Right, because we don't offer enough money to, to get qualified people. So, you know, we, we have, we have shortchanged the, um, we have shortchanged what we can get for people. We, we come out with this, with a, with a budget amount to, to hire somebody, you go and do a search and none of them will come for that amount of money. We're, we don't pay our people enough to do the quality of work that we have and we have an immense amount of work coming in to run this town over the next couple of years? Committee. Bingo. We've got a good personnel committee put together, and I can't wait for their first meeting and you to lead them through. Um, no, 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 no. Get smart with that one. You know what I'm talking about. So we need, we need, we need to get our, our personnel board up and running to look at. We need to do compensation, you know, evaluations, make sure we're on the right path. We need to write job descriptions. We've got... I'll let Diane work in a little bit, and, and Mike, because they've been, they've been working and looking, thinking about how we're going to set this up. Um, I don't want to talk all night about it, but I think... Well, it didn't, it didn't seem like... It doesn't, you know, I, I hate sitting here, and I look around, and, and there's no one else that's been on these boards as long as I have, so it makes it tough. But, I mean, it wasn't that long. It didn't seem like it's that long ago when the selectman staff... Well, this was a long time ago. Um, Making my point? No. <laughs> and there was a full-time secretary. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, and Boots was it. She ran the office. That was it. Yeah. 
And then we went to. But that was a different. That was a different, a different day. Time. That was a long right. time. Different that was time. a long time ago. I don't even know who that was or that. But I, all I know is what's happening in the right. last four years. And uh, and then we hired the town administrator. And you know, the one that I'm most familiar with is Dave Nixon. Yeah. And uh, Casey was the Just administrative assistant. Yeah. And that was the office. Right. And you know, in, in that time frame, I don't remember any discussions about needing additional staff in there. Yeah, it's a, it's a different world today. And then Bernie came in, what, 10 years ago? Yeah. 10, 12 years ago. And so we ended up initially with one other person in there. And so that was three. And a full-time, I think Dick was full-time, building inspector, yep. uh, health. health agent. So, and now we have Dick part-time. Yeah, Priscilla in there too. Mm -hmm. No, part Priscilla was not there initially. Oh, okay. And then Priscilla was added, but that was it. I mean, Priscilla was half-time, so mm -hmm. you had uh, Casey, who was a the administrative assistant, uh, and, and I think Pat. Although I'm not sure, Pat had been someplace else and moved over there, um, and then Priscilla, and Bernie, and Dick. Yeah. Right. For the whole thing. Yep. Has, so, has so now we've now we're we did add this past year a half-time administrative person who is yet to be hired. Yeah. And we could have hired that person five months ago. Yeah. For what? Where? Dick's office or the inspector's office. It yeah. was uh, Priscilla offered a resignation. Yeah. Mm, no, no, he, no he's talking before. about an additional. No, it, it because of the budget when in the budget, what was put in, you're absolutely right, was a three-quarter time person, which has uh, not been hired, and then Priscilla. That's how we and landed, I, but I that's think not that decision the... decision was not really accurate either. <laughs> well, what had happened, there, there's been a lot of discussion about it, but the board had voted at their meeting, my recollection, you can go back and look at the tape, is the board voted something at their meeting and to be presented to the Finance Committee. I brought that to the Finance Committee, and coming along that evening were board members who then at that time told you we didn't need what the board had voted. We right. needed something different. And so then ultimately yeah. it got changed and, and, and adjusted meeting, and, that, that money, and was voted. That's, yeah. that's the yeah. dollars, 20,000 yeah, bucks that's right. more or yep. less. Yeah. Yep. No, there's 40. Yeah. There's 40 in their total for the administrative support. It's broken out between two positions. Yes. And now we will have you know, Priscilla's tendered her resignation. And so the recommendation that I had made and still continue to make mm -hmm. is that we have a full-time person, that we do not need to have two half-time right. people. We need one full-time person that is managing the land use and planning and inspections functions. They are all connected and integrated, and they haven't been operating like that for, for many years. The Board of Health... operating like that. The Board of Health... Ish, excuse me? What? That office has never operated like that. Bingo. Correct. And so, in addition, um, the what what's happened to Deerfield is that you had a, 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 a tremendous advantageous situation for a, at least a decade, maybe two decades, in that you had a building commissioner who's also your health agent. So that's never occurred in Massachusetts, to my knowledge, except maybe in this community, maybe one other community, because the, the requirements of those positions are so robust and so regulatory that one, even in most communities, one full-time person or one three-quarter time person in small communities can, can barely do that work. So having, we basically have had a half-time building commissioner and a half-time health agent for a long time when we probably should have had more 
more staffing, more hours of staffing. So, so when you're saying, you know, we, we have added staff, but, there, but for many years you did have an arrangement that really probably wasn't sufficient or effective. And you've been limping by because you have great officials that have worked really hard, and you have constituents that have been very, very patient in understanding. But my office is bearing the brunt of the mm -hmm. the lack of that <coughs> continuing where the the where selectman's the, office until two years ago had all of that had all of where where had, we had land I've use never. planning and we had a absolutely with under who under who under well whoever the town administrator was no land i'm not i'm talking about somebody that's actually doing so so somebody that in the land use planning department when when applications come in somebody needs to route the applications they need to take the information so where was that they being done to, before i think that we had a we had a contract with a planner through the franklin regional when council of governments Pat, you you were paying Pat. up until this year not through the planning the, the planning Pat. board the planning board budget contained uh, you had a contract with the FERCOG for uh, probably 10 or 15 years for $15,000 a year, 7,500 or about that amount, half of it was coming from your appropriation and the other half was coming from peer review services. And so Pat, Pat Smith, who was the contract provider through the FERCOG, retired in December. So we don't have that and in this year's budget, I don't know whether it was around the discussion about adding an, an assistant town administrator, but s you had a discussion about adding planning staff or a planner. Mm -hmm. You we never did. added a planner, but somehow you removed the contract from the planning board. So now the planning board has literally Nothing. no support. They barely have support on the front end with the agenda setting and the minutes and all of that stuff. And they have no support on the back end. They so have nobody writing decisions. They have nobody filing decisions. Every decision that they've made since January has either not been filed appropriately, has been filed late. They've, they've almost had constructive grants on marijuana, on solar, and then we have the Dollar General issue. So because we didn't have, you know, the, the proper, you know, review and, and things along the way of that because that was right at Pat, the end of Pat and everything was kind of starting to, um, you know, now we're, now we're having to deal with that on the back end in terms of, you know, town council and litigation and, and, and things like that. So all, so what, so you, what we not, need you're, you're is... You're confusing me. So what we need, in, so in total... Because we've got two we're articles looking, here. Yeah, right. We're looking, right, we're spread now sort of over two departments. What you're saying is true. Administratively, this used to all be in one department, the administration. Now we're asking for there to be an, an official in the land use and planning and inspections division that is the front person that takes all of that information, that routes it to the inspectors, that routes it to the planning board, that makes sure the planning board gets it on an agenda in the timely fashion it's supposed to get there, and deals with all of that office, basically. All of no the mean. inspection, the inspectors and the enforcement and, and, and issuing permits. And then we still need, the planning board may need more support at their meetings in terms of, of complex decision writing or legal. So that's the, the 7,500 for the planner services that's on this Article 8. So 14,000 on in here is to go into that position that we're, we're referring to. On top of the, the two half-time positions. Correct. That's right. Well, Can you? Talk about I thought you were going to combine, to make one, one full. Yeah. To make one full-time, right. more robust position that handles Qualified. all of these functions except Board of Health. We're not going to put Board of Health into that mm -hmm. person. It's too much, and Pat is already doing three-quarters of that. So the, the select board decided to pull back on the Board of Health staffing, putting, putting a staff person in the Board of Health budget. But I'm telling the board and I'm telling you that if we have to have the Board of Health functions being in our office, then that we, you know, Mike, the assistant is going to pick up some of that, but the administrative assistant and the executive assistant position, the licensing, the website, the public, we're the public records officer. Look in Massachusetts, I guarantee you, None there's very few town administrators offices that are public records officers. Every 
municipality has it in the town's clerk's office. So I'm not suggesting, I don't know what the, what the philosophy was with setting it up that way, but I have four public records requests on my desk today. And those are due now in 20 days, or we're liable for, for we can be liable for money now if we don't respond to these. And that means somebody in my office has to go around and chase down whoever has the records, because we don't have the records generally, and, and make that happen. So that's just another thing. So if that's myself or Mike or Pat, you know, it's just, we're just becoming very constrained. And Board of Health, I just want to finish with the Board of Health. We have, since I've been here, we've talked about tobacco regulations. We've talked about eliminating electronic um, vaping, vaping cigarettes. We need to do Tattoo. that in this community. Yes. Tattoo regulations. Um, we've talked about, you know, just different things with Board of Health. We, we get, we're inundated constantly with permit requests for events, for food service, for uh, one-day permits, and we're not handling any of those things consistently. How were those handled last year, the year before, the year not before well. that? Not well. Not well. I, maybe in a past administration, they, uh, you know, maybe there was more of a, of a hold of that, but it, we don't, we haven't consistently been handling those things. We yeah. don't have one-day event permits. I don't know if that was something you were really getting. Because we had one day events. Well, the, the other issue Not is to the extent we do now, Skip. I mean, they're constant. Every board, like we're every board doing meeting, three there's three a or four week. of them a week. We're getting like, we used Crazy. to, when the first year, even just a couple years ago, there was like a couple a year, but it seems like we're getting, and, and with our 350th coming up, we have our 350th celebration coming up. I mean, I know that's not, it, but it does have an impact on our office, all of these things. And a lot of what Pat's doing is, um, you know, Kevin's billing and, you know, right. Kevin should look at right. administrative so, support to have right. so, all that billing and all that stuff done in that, in that building, in that right. location, instead of all that time taken out of the select board salaries. Right. The, the things we're not telling you are the things I'm not bringing forth now, but still I want to be looked at in 21 and 22, where I would encourage you to look at is your public works administration, because mm -hmm. Pat is working on, you know, she does some of the bills processing, but Kevin doesn't have any type of administrative support when he's doing all his Chapter 90 paperwork, when he's doing a lot of administrative paperwork so and when, things in that, that office. where was that done last year, the year before, and the year before that? All in here, and we've suffered every bit of it. So for the past 50 years, not it's 50, been a problem. Not 50, it's, but I would say maybe it's been five. A, it's been a problem ever <laughs> since I've been here. I can only give you my experience. We're inefficient right now. And I want that office efficient. We're in the 21st century. We run a, an awesome town. We have great staff. We're not supporting them enough. We're not doing the business we need to do. We need to support our staff. We need to fund that office. This does most of the business of the town out of here. And we need to step up and do the, do the job right. It's, I think you know, it's a huge, it's an investment that you will get a huge rate of return. You do. Since I started, I know I came in as a special, you know, but you had money in your budget. So you brought in a special projects consultant. And over last year, I mean, just in that role alone, I managed about, you know, between seven and 10 substantial projects, up to 25 non-substantial, and probably about a half a million dollars alone in grant money and, and et cetera. And, and, and we have a variety of consultants, but those consultants still have to be, you know, you still have to facilitate and coordinate with all of those consultants too. We're doing more and more work. Your opportunities are becoming more plentiful, but in order to be responsive to that, we need support. And I don't think 60 or whatever we're asking for over four budgets for land use planning and all of these activities is really, Oh, and we've got, I, understand, we've got I understand what you're saying, and please, once again, I'm going to be as politically correct as I can be here. And Don't hold back. Polite, yet. Don't polite, hold back. As yet. polite as I can be, but uh, a few years back, at an annual town meeting, at the end of the annual town meeting, somebody proposed uh, reviewing the way our government ran, mm -hmm. and as far as this town. Like a five-member board you're talking about? Yeah, all, yeah. all the way through. And, all on board. And right. that just seemed to get ignored. Well, it's not that, ignored. It's the right. time that it takes right. to do all that. Right. No, on I top of all that. But also the, the second, and I'll take the heat for this, but for 
probably five years ago, four years ago, and I know it's not just the staff, but I had suggested maybe that town of Deerfield, because all the projects coming down and what we were facing, maybe we should consider going five to mm -hmm. five select yeah. persons instead of the three to help disperse the work. Yep. The workload. Absolutely. Because there is a lot of it's workload. It's a massive amount. Also, we've gotten into a situation where it seems like we're trying to do, and that's why speaking of, let's do a list of all our major projects, mm -hmm. do a priority, and tackle them as we can. We might only be able to take on one, two, three things yep. this year. We may have to put off a couple of things to next year and so on and so forth. So we manage our projects a little bit better. Now I know some things come up where you have to respond to. I understand yeah. that. But are we creating a situation where we're trying to do too many things at once and it's having a major impact on all of you? Because we are trying to do too many things at once in a town. And believe me, right. we all know yeah. there's a lot of things in town that we're going to eventually need to address. Yep. So those are so those are some of the things that uh, you know I, I think I have to come into the mix Absolutely. in discussing that. And I'm not dismissing your concerns whatsoever because I hear them loud and clear. But uh, I'm just trying to figure out a way that we can approach this it, it, and instead of just immediately jumping in and making a quick decision. I believe last year we had talked about doing a halftime over here yep. to see what the need was and come revisit it at the end of the year after that half year was hired and played out for a year or the halftime and played out for the year and see if there was enough work to put on a person full time. Yeah. And so obviously that what we found is that you there aren't half time people that come in with a quality that we need for help. So right. you need you need a full time person with, you know, a grade four at least to, to have that the the background, the knowledge and you pay them enough that actually is going to attract somebody that's going to be, you know, not just a filer, somebody that's really going to be a contributor to our team. I agree about um, the amount of work that, that the select board take on. Um, I, I love to limit that. I'm also open to a five member board. You know, a lot of people say, well, it's, you know, five member board when I'm up for election. I'm up for election this year, right? This is my year. I'm open to that. I think, um, you know, when I started as a select board member, you can't really have conversations with the other select board members because it's an open meeting law. Right. But you really need to, you know, you really need to pull on anybody new with the amount of work that's going on. You need to have in-depth conversations. I do agree. Uh, I, I would be open to a five-member board, but I know that that just exponentially adds to the amount of work of the staff because you've got five people running around, five bits of, you know, you get some help because other people are doing stuff, but you right. create more interest. So, um, but yes, and I agree with nailing down the priorities. I think that all of that stuff, the complete street sidewalks, you know, all the MVP stuff, the sewer work, all of that kind of all has to happen at the same time. Be nice to just go, okay, it's just, we're gonna work on sewer this year. It feels like that's all I've worked on, but, um, <laughs> cause it's been immense. But, um, but yeah, that we have to kind of keep all those balls rolling, but we can't really attack them all with the energy that we would love to, if we had a little bit more help and, you know, maybe five members to do that work. So um, I, I really agree with a lot of that. And I think it does, it does boil down to that list we talked about a few minutes ago of, Mm -hmm. of, and I'd love to do a Saturday session or something and nail that down. I just think, based on my time and speaking with the professional staff that, staff that we have, not only in this office, but in the office next door and our accountant, and you know, they recognize the amount of work that's coming through here. And we need, you know, we need to, we need to be professional and deal with that. And I, you know, I agree, it's, it has changed over the years. It's changed just mm -hmm. in the time I've been here. I want to add just the other piece I think is really critical, and we've, we've had a little bit of discussion, but the thing that's changed, I think, a lot, what you're mentioning is that, um, and, and we've talked about this in the last year, that you have these pressures coming from, you know, that are going to impact your tax rate. You have your nonprofits, and you have that, that 
piece of it, and then you have the development piece, mm -hmm. and we have, you know, we're even talking now about changing the zoning bylaw to add some green infrastructure or green in, green development and infrastructure bylaws, and that could limit development mm -hmm. in this community. It, it could. I mean, it's wonderful to mm -hmm. consider having green development, but it could change the course of your development. So all of that has to be considered. And the big the big thing I don't think all of the projects. So there's projects and stuff, and those like like Trevor said, some of those are based on you know initiatives that have been wanting to be started in this town for years. So we're working on that, and there's funding available. So we have certain times you have to go after those things. But the big thing that we really, I feel we really need to focus on in this office, and why we need support with land use planning, development, all of these things is economic development. We are seeing very quickly now that New England Natural Bakers isn't going to be coming to, to our town, so or to your town. So you want to, so not only do you want to possibly retain that property and maybe remarket it, which is going to take an effort, um, you have Channing Beat that is that's now mm -hmm. going to be closing up and leaving. We've got even just the center of South Deerfield. I mean, we have some great Cumberland. new businesses coming in town, but we still have a real big eyesore in that old Cumberland Farms. And we are going to have to, before long, you know, look at that and try to figure out what to do. We can't, you know, we, we have to do something. So those are just a couple economic development things. There's other um, things we're looking at you know, in, in other areas. And I've been going to DDIC meetings. You know, we're looking at every opportunity to work not only locally but in the region um, for, for monies, you know, to come into the town through, through those um, kinds of things. But that's a big piece that I spend a lot of time at my desk right now producing all of this stuff. And if, that, if I'm doing that, then I'm not out trying to figure out how mass development is going to get that Channing Beat thing sold or how we're going to figure out how to get this Cumbies cleaned up so we can remarket it or how we're going to get you know, somebody to come into that at New England Natural Bakers or what's going to come there or what we want. Like All of those thing, things need to be figured out. Your master plan's expiring. Your open space plan's expiring. Um, you know, I know that those things take effort, but those mm -hmm. are your planning tools. That's how you know where you're going in the next 10 or 20 years. And they all need to be looked at right now. And that's basically, so again, that, I feel like for when you're, for what, year over year for the last decade, you have gotten over a million dollars in free cash. This cannot be, as Mike put it so eloquently, a zero, a zero sum game. We, there is some money in there to put in some staffing. And if you do that, the return yeah. on your investment will come back in the form of local receipts. It'll come mm -hmm. back in, the term, in terms of your tax base, in terms of growing your tax base, not adding to your taxes, but growing your tax base. That is critical. The one thing I'd like to add, too, is uh, with Article 6, just to be particular, or Article 7, uh, Priscilla has uh, offered her resignation and indicated she's leaving 920. It's 921. 921. It's the 12th. Uh, the one thing I've noticed, being new and not to be overly critical, but just to be objective, mm -hmm. is we provide customer service here, basically, to the townspeople. They want to come into the building, and a lot of them take time out of their day if they're working their lunch hour or whatever to come in and get help for what they need. And I think on, on the large part, it's done. But the last thing you want to do is come pull a permit and, right. and the sign says closed on a Wednesday afternoon. It's like that, to me as a resident, that's unacceptable. I mean, I'm paying taxes. Um, that, that department handles the planning board, the zoning hearing board, if I'm not using the right. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the building department, so all the permitting in town, um, and then just general questions that people have. Can I do this? Can I do that? Uh, people will often not come and ask the question, but just do it because it's a hassle because they're not getting the help that they need. Um, and that I've noticed just for the three and a half weeks I've been here, uh, there's, there's enforcement issues in this town uh, that are hard to deal with after the fact because it's never been addressed consistently. Right. So you go after a new person that put a garage up without a permit, and the, the answer is, well, uh, well what about him? 
What about, about him? What about my neighbor? He did it. He didn't get permits. I went over and asked him. He said, yeah, don't worry about it. So uh, my challenge to begin with is to look at that department, talk to Priscilla, who's been there for a long time, and Dick and, and our new building inspector, and really listen to what their needs are and how they want that operation to work. So I think a full-time person that has experience doing this in Massachusetts uh, is really very necessary to start off. I, and, and I understand exactly what you're saying. That's why I was one of some people on the, on the committee that voted to at least get a half-time person in there to get a foot in the door and see what was really required and see if we could justify a full-time position mm -hmm. in there. So we can that justify. didn't happen, unfortunately. And, as, I, as and I think it's because the halftime just isn't enough. Like, you, you're not going to find that quality of person well, at a halftime. What we would have been doing, I think, in that, in that was we would have been bringing in an assistant for Priscilla. I mean, the way the job was graded was it was a lower job than Priscilla's job. And well, we let feel me ask you a question, that that would if not be. If you were looking for a full-time person in there, which you are, yep. are you going to be able to find a qualified person to fit in the present salary schedule. Well, no, that's why we're that, asking. Why we're we're asking, asking for additional money, right, because in this budget. Because you're going to the 75 from planning, right, that we're sending for a cog, right? Uh, no, that's, that I'm asking for 7,500 to be put into the planning board budget to support the planning board exclusively, whether it's planning services, whether it's legal services, that's, a, that's contracted services basically for the planning board. Then in addition, we're asking for an additional $14,000 to be put into the inspections department budget, which has those two half-time half positions first, now. So the value right now of those, or the, the dollar value is about $40,000, and we're asking for more. No, we don't, we, we think that we need somebody at at least a grade four if you, you, I don't know if you know Priscilla, but before Priscilla worked here, she was the town, she was the administrative assistant in the town of, of, of Ashfield. So she actually was, had the training of a town administrator when she, you know, that similar mm -hmm. training to do the land use and planning and, and inspection. So I, I'm, I'm saying that in, in reference to, I think we need somebody that has um, qualifications that are gonna be more than a grade two or what a clerical support person mm -hmm. would have. And if you look at the MMA, you know, what, what we did to reference that is we went to the MMA, you know, the website of Massachusetts. Um, it's all Massachusetts municipalities. You can find jobs. And you can go and you can find Board of Health clerks. You can find Planning Board clerks. You can find all the different jobs. And so we're kind of right in that, you know, ballpark. Um, so can you say what's in the budget right now for sure, the Sure, I can actually, offices? yeah, I'll give you the, I'll give you the. So it's a town administrator. So town administrator's office, selectman salaries is. So we're uh, talking about yeah, a there couple you go. different Perfect. budgets. So this is the select board staff budget currently. And that's one of the budgets we're talking about. Um, but the one we're referring to right now is this one, is the department, inspections department payroll. So there's two half time or almost three quarter time positions. Um, Oh, Priscilla's is, is right. no, 19, 19, yes. yeah. yeah. Right. 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 right, Priscilla, one's 19, and then one was 9, 60, what is that, about a half, is that? That's half as well. Half? Yes. Yes, you gave me two, yeah. Um. So, but we're, so when we bring that in to go full time, mm -hmm. now we are also going to be required to cover benefits? Yes. Correct. Retirement, yep. insurance. That's right. So on. We're going to so support forth. them. Yep. So the dollar amount here does not reflect. Correct. That's picked up in other benefits. lines. Correct. Okay. Yep. That's right. So right now in the budget for the inspections department, there's a an inspector. Correct. Or a commissioner, I guess. Is yep. The word. Commissioner. Several inspectors who are paid part time. What, Those are like inspection. wiring and okay. plumbing. Yep. And then an admin assistant who is 
part time. time. Yep. Right now. Yes. And then we had added that other, you'll see that other little bit we added. That's the, the position Jeff talked about. We added that other amount. So there's Where Priscilla. Let me see. I can it's, try it's listed. It oh, says additional. Okay. additional. Okay. So those, okay. those com we're going to combine those and add some to that to get somebody qualified to be able to do what we're hoping to do. I think that you guys are making a very compelling argument. I know from working in nonprofit sector that there's a there is definitely a curve uh, when you you know spend money on staff they get you know at a certain point they max out right and then the productivity starts to drop and I it sounds to me like a very compelling argument that we're at that point where the curve has started to drop um, and I, I mean I think it's I think it's compelling. I, I know how much work goes on here. Mm -hmm. And for, for you guys to be advocating this strongly, it makes a lot of sense to me, not to mention the cost of turnover, mm -hmm. and especially turno turnover of part-time employees, the and then losing that institutional, institutional knowledge. knowledge. Yeah, so it, for me, it's, it seems like a very compelling argument just to express it's it's a lot where I'm at on thank this. you it's a lot all at once because it's and, it, and generally we'd be doing this in December and I think this this is going to be talked about in December but I don't I don't want to wait another mm -hmm. till July you know another year eight months ten months to to get implemented on this stuff that's you know we have a special town meeting coming up I thought I would make the case the town meeting that this is really important I've been doing this for a short amount of time but long enough to understand what our deficiencies have been, and I see it over and over and over and again. We have very qualified staff in here now that are just getting, you know, on their feet and getting together. We've got massive projects coming with the sewer uh, getting started and with, you know, complete streets going on, the MVP stuff. There's town buildings. When you start town to risk buildings. liabilities too, that scares me. Yeah. I know that those are very expensive. It is, and I just, um, so I, I know it's kind of all like, oh, we're going to add there, and oh, we're going to add there, and oh, it's like Christmas, right? We're like, we're not asking for all these gifts. Trust me, I'm not asking if I didn't feel like we needed this. And as the leader of the town, this is what I feel like we need, and that's why I want to advocate for this, um, and, and hopefully the town will support us. Can we talk about the other office? Yes. Now, I, I feel like I'm still catching up. Like, sure, no, please. I think I got that one figured out. Now, the <laughs> okay. other one, yeah. we have a town administrator... Yes. An assistant town administrator. Mm -hmm. Correct. Pat, the admin assistant. Do we also have an executive assistant? Has no. that? No, we so don't. that went away, and it now did. we have a town assistant town administrator Correct. instead. Is Correct. that yeah. the structure yeah. that we have now? Right. Yeah. But but I think what what the assistant town administrator when we set when we were looking at that job and describing it, um, it was it was really to try to. Um, absorb some of the land use planning things that we didn't have from the professional planner like and I know I know I'm saying about adding money to the planning board but I want to be clear that's not that that's just for complex you know decisions it's not like an ongoing thing but in the building we also need somebody that's in addition to the person that's receiving the applications and something and and those things we need somebody like Mike is describing in the last three weeks what he's done a lot of is coordinate basically between the building commissioner, um, you know, some of the activities that are, uh, you know, going on with public works and some of the enforcement, just different things. So we need we need that, and that was intended to be that. Some of the um, executive assistant jobs are being done now by the admin assistant. And my, I mean, some of it's been divvied up between all of us, but the, um, the licensing and the, um, I don't, I'm trying to think of all the things in the Minutes, executive assistant like job, but there was, there was just a lot of things. And so now the administrative assistant has absorbed some of those things and her time is divided because she's also doing the Board of Health work. And as Trevor described, she's doing public works you know, some, a very minimal amount, but some public works administrative support, and she's doing some um, accounting, accounts payable data entry for, to support Brenda. Um, but we'd like to look at that. Like, we need to, you know, doing that data entry takes a lot of focus, and it's a very detail-oriented thing. And 
a lot of times this office is super busy. People are going in and out all the time, sometimes two or three people at once. And so that work isn't being done as effectively anymore. It's very, so we need to maybe look at, you know, not doing, having, you know, the assistant do that. So that's why in that office, we need to have a little bit of flexibility um, for administrative support. We have it, we figured out the, the town administrator and the assistant and the planning and economic development and all those pieces. The only thing le left to figure out is the administrative support and licensing and all the stuff that the select board office is responsible for and how that's going to continue to work with the Board of Health responsibilities. Because the Board of Selectmen or the select board is currently also the Board of Health. So when you request that this position become a full-time position, mm -hmm. that person will do both of those roles that you just talked about? No. So you're asking for another person. Which roles mm. are you referring the to? The stuff that... Oh, no, we're not no. asking for another person No, we're not here. asking for No, 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 no. I'm just explaining that the, the, administrate, the executive assistant and administrative assistant have sort of become combined, and some of those responsibilities have fallen out and have been taken, like we are outsourcing the minutes right now. So we need additional, a little bit additional money to, to figure out how to continue to do that. The administrative assistant doesn't have enough capacity to do the Board of Health clerical work, to do public work support, to do data entry for, you know, the data entry, to do the licensing and all of right, the... Right. So you well, and, and, but, and, and she is also supporting all of your, all of your other committees. Yes, she, right, she pays right. all the yes. bills. No, I'm, I'm all not, the bills. I'm not right, critiquing no, no. what she I know does you're not critiquing. I don't understand what explain. you're asking. I think what so we're, where's we're, the money to support? So a couple this. of things. So, so I've got a new, I've got a new town. Uh, I've got almost two town administrators here. So we, we have been, we have been really uh, lack. We, we, you know, we've gone from Doug and then okay. Wendy. Okay, let, then, let me ask my question again instead sure. of telling me all this stuff again. So, <laughs> Article Seven asked for fourteen thousand dollars. That is additional money that allows us to make. Priscilla's a replacement person. a full-time person. Correct. Correct. Yep. Article 8 is $7,500. That's to support the planning board. Correct. Correct. You've also said that you want a little bit of additional money to help fix something in the town administrator's office. Is that a separate request? Or That's is that? Article 6. That's Article 6, six which yeah. is 30000 which That's is getting the back. With, That's the getting back the funding that we have been turning that back. Number is not on uh, the it doesn't article. it now says right. a sum of money so what do you do with the 30 so the 30 000. is to support so we have been underpaying one um we haven't we, we underbid what what we needed for a we under budgeted what we needed for for an assistant town administrator so when we did a search i was fortunate enough to get i'm hopefully fortunate enough to have two very qualified people to do that job um they both require a higher amount of money than what we budgeted. So one's budgeted at 90, the other one was budgeted at 58. Um, 56. 56. The, um, to support what we need going on in there, I need to pay both those people, I need to pay one of those persons more money than what was budgeted. And I also need to pay for our minutes and then get other, other, uh, you know, other help that's going on in that office. So we, we need, um, additional money to pay what we need for support in our office, let alone what's going on over here. So that's what the, that's what the, the, that I'm asking for. Okay. So the 31,000 that was left over from last year is what you're asking. I'm asking for article for, six. Correct. To be added in order to plus to sure up. So there's Army. no additional people. It's correct. just additional funding for the people. And, and then it also does pay for the stuff that we sub out, like all of our minutes for our office. Right. So we, okay. you know, different things that we pay out of that office. Right. We probably won't spend all that. We probably would send some back at the end of the year. I haven't quite nailed down exactly where all that would go. Um, but I know I need some support there. So that's what that's what we're asking. And and we didn't so have then what would happen if if this were, I'm just understanding yep. it and discussing it through. If you add that 31,000 in this year, then next year you're going to say we're going to need 
31,000. No, I probably, I probably won't. We'll probably figure out where we're at, and then um, it probably wouldn't be. I wouldn't be recurringly asking for that. It will be higher, certainly, than it, than it is this year, the 199, but it, it may not be one, one thirty, uh, 230. So how does that But it one, may be. It how may does that be break down? I don't understand how it would change. What are you saying? You're, you know, it seems like yeah, then that it would be an because ongoing. I hadn't, it seems I like hadn't an nailed down exactly <laughs> so where that would be. be exactly we haven't, that, we haven't discussed next year's budget yet. That's true. So, right? I'm, I'm talking saying. about this year's budget. Right. So before I get to December and next year, right. I'm not sure where that's at yet. Right. I need but, to support what we have going on right now. But I want to try not to be misleading and say that it's not, it isn't like a one-time thing. I think no, of course no, it's not. Because it's a salary that's going to Continue. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Correct. But whether you spend it all on salary or not, that's the question. Great. Okay. Yeah. Well, this right, and this, and and this is a um, one of the lines we just are looking for again. It's just like the admin support, um, but we are paying her a new salary. So, is there any way that you can give us a breakdown of what you would like this to look like? We have a breakdown as to what it is now. Yep. What is it going to look like? With the thirty-one thousand in there. Yep, I'll give that to you next meeting. Um, and if I look back, uh, you know, fourteen we had one hundred and sixty-seven thousand, spent one hundred and fifty. Fifteen we had one hundred and seventy-two and spent one hundred and fifty. Sixteen we had one hundred and fifty-four and spent one hundred and forty. Two thousand seventeen we spent one hundred and three thousand. Right. And what did we budget? 138. 2018, we budgeted 185,000, spent 150. Mm -hmm. And you've got a budget in, in 2019 of 189,000. And I guess I'd have to look over here to find out what we actually spent in 19. Everything minus uh, 131. <laughs> pardon? Everything minus Everything 31. Everything minus 31. <laughs> no, wait a minute okay. here. Right? So 160, 158. So we're averaging about 150. So if you're lucky, it'll be 150. So, I, so I think, I th well, hang on a minute. We spent, by the looks of it, we spent one hundred and fifty-seven thousand. There you go. So you're not asking for thirty-one. You're asking for sixty-two thousand more than you spent. Yeah. No, no. You've got one hundred ninety-nine. You only spent one hundred and fifty-seven last year. Because we had yes, one person correct. last year yeah. and then uh, part-time. Like yeah. I said, yeah. you're asking for $60,000 more than you spent last year. Spent correct. versus Spent budgeted. Is, correct. Yes. Because you have one town administrator and you have one assistant, right. Diana's salary came out of the contracted services department. Right. right. That, that, yeah, there's a whole what bunch about of 2018? That, that was also coming out of contracted services. 2018. If I look at part, the 2018 budget. Yeah. It was out of, part of out of, out of uh, contracted services and part out of our office. Not in 2018. When did you start, Diana? Oh, no, 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 19. 19? Yeah, no, 19. Feels yeah. like you've been here longer. I know, feels like it. So the administrative assistant doesn't change in this budget. Excuse me? In the budget, current year. Yes. Correct. You have forty nine thousand five hundred dollars. Right. Administrative assistant. That does not change. Oh, we have fifty two nine forty five. No. Fifty two nine forty five. And correct. That's not going to change. I'm sorry. What is that? Fifty two nine forty five. Fifty two nine forty five. But the forty nine five sixty four for two thousand nineteen is what I was yeah. looking yeah. at. Yeah. And no, we're not proposing that change for twenty. Okay. So we've got a town administrator, assistant town administrator, and and. And support. And then admin support. So you talk about another person. Well, we are, we're paying, we're, uh, we're using uh, the town of Sunderland's administrative assistant right now just to do minutes for us. So yes, and we're paying her through the salary account, not as a contractor. So it's a very small in, amount. In the budget for, except for Pat's position, you've got $147,000, correct? Mm -hmm. How much do you need for the two positions? The, administra the administrative, uh, the assistant town administrator and the town administrator. 
Well, you, don't, well, you don't have a town administrator. You don't have a permanent right. town administrator, so you don't know what you're going to be paying your town administrator. And, then don't ask and for FY money. If you can't 20. tell me what the money's for, <laughs> don't ask for it. Well, it's for those positions. Do, right. How much is it? That's what I asked. I haven't quite said it. Then why money. are you here asking for money if you don't know what it is? Because you wanted to know. Well, tell me what it is. <laughs> You're asking I'm for thirty thousand. You can't tell I'm me what it is. There. Yeah, I can tell you, but I, I, I haven't. I'm not. I haven't settled yet. So, when I do, I'll, I'll tell you, and it'll be pretty quick. So fine. There. So let's let's worry about it at that point in time. We don't have a problem between now and next. Actually, between now and next April, we, there's enough yes. money to cover salaries. And no, there. there isn't. So. Can you have that information for us for our next I'll meeting on the twenty sixth? Yeah. Yes, I will. So we so, simply put this article on hold. Like correct. We have the others, yep. and then we can take a look at it. But I agree with Skip. Yeah. It, it would be nice to have that breakdown I will. and figure out where that money's coming from yep. and where it's going. Yep. You know, I, come I think cash. I think of all of us would probably feel a little more comfortable voting now. Yes, I, I agree know. with that completely. You have a contract with money, so. Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. So should we hold six, seven, and eight? I would. I'd respectfully ask that you could move seven mm -hmm. because Patricia is higher. leaving. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> P. 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 For, uh, P's leaving. Pratt. <laughs> yes, Priscilla's leaving and we'd like to get that position. We'd like to post that as soon as possible. Well, my, my question there is, is not the money that's, it's, what are you posting? as a position so i have a job description that i drafted for the board of selectmen and i can give that to you right now what you know. what is the what is the procedure that the town follows when they're changing a position we go through the personnel board and it has to be approved at that point yes so until that happens we still need to line up our money to make sure that by town meeting we have a budget in place whether we oh. spend it all i don't know but yes, we need to go through every and process. If we, and, if, and if we, if that did not happen, what are you saying? You wouldn't be able to hire anybody? Well, I think I would like to have it, you know, like to have it funded, you know. But yes, or we'd have to come to you for. We, a we funded we funded that office last April. What do you mean? The, the, the town, the select that board, office? the select board that. The inspector's office reached an agreement on what was going to happen there last April, and town meeting approved it. Yeah. And it, it's never happened. And now you're telling me that no, We're that's gonna, not. We changed our mind. We wanted. We want to fund it a different. We want to support it a different way. Yeah. That's. Then go back to the personnel committee and get it done that way. Yeah, we Instead will. Of, but I want to make sure we have money in this budget because we're having a special town meeting that it's that it's going to be then you have money to, to hire the person you need to hire. Then I guess I would prefer that you wait until April, till an annual town meeting. Who's gonna work over there? What, what do you mean? Like not not hire the person? Or how would you pay them? By you've, April, got, April? you've got $50,000 in the budget to pay. Why are we? No, we had we 40 and so some of it's gone okay, because 40 Priscilla's in. already worked for I part of the time. Well, Priscilla's we had 40 in total, but now Priscilla's worked for two months of the year, so we don't have, I don't know. I'm just wondering why we want to skim so much when we can just <laughs> plan for this and tell the, tell the actual residents what our plan is going forward. We want to be honest and transparent with them and say, this is what we plan to do. These are the positions we want to fund. This is what we want to fund it for. And, and, and then go through personnel board, get that approved. And, and move forward. I, I'm not sure why we so, want to so you know, risk it you know, and wonder okay. if we got enough money and we have money. We're, so you know, how much we, money do, I guess I'm a little frustrated here. Let me help. That we've gone through a procedure. Yeah. And now you don't like it. And I don't. See? Correct. Yeah. Then talk to the town meeting. That's what I'm doing. That's why I'm putting it on an agenda. To the personnel committee, which is what you're supposed yeah, to. Yeah. Well, do. my personnel committee just all up and left. So I've had to take a couple months to build that. And, and you know, it's not. You know, this is not went, easy I working in this town. I assume you went to the personnel committee last year. No. 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 no I don't. I don't think we. Did we not. I don't. To be honest, Skip, I'm not sure. It, uh, my recollection is that the select board didn't have consensus 
even about the position. I know Correct. what got put in the budget. I recognize what got put in the budget, yeah. but I'm saying I'm not sure the board ever reached consensus on on whether that was appropriate, and we never. Well, I think we voted on it, and then and then somebody <laughs> came to the personnel board or to the finance committee and said, "Nah, we don't need that." Some you know, two two people came to this per, the finance committee and said. Uh, cut the legs out from underneath what we wanted for what? both offices. What was in, what was in the fact. budget that went to town meeting? Yeah, I understand that. What was in the we budget that went to town meeting? Whatever's in our budget. It, it, had, it had nothing to do with the finance committee. It's the select board who puts that amount that in That is there. correct. So don't, don't I'm say not it. saying no, it's no, the finance it's committee's not. problem. It's not your, it's no. not your no, issue. It's our, I'm, I the agree, it's our issue. Them, yes, yes. that's we where I'm putting the blame. We agree with you, yes. We're trying to correct it. That's what we're trying. <laughs> maybe, I had a, I had a select court back then that made a poor decision. And being transparent, hopefully. Okay, the, uh, the, and I, I don't remember what the, the dollars are. Let me just say it's $20,000 for the unfilled position I'm, for discussion purposes. $20,000 for Priscilla's position for discussion purposes. Yep. She will have worked a quarter of a year. So she will... Then a quarter of that twenty thousand. So you've got fifteen left plus the twenty is thirty-five. Now I would agree that thirty-five isn't sufficient for right. a year, but you're only going to be paying this person for nine months. What I'm wondering is why we want to limit it so much. Why don't we just just fund it to what we think that's it should 50, be? That's a fifty thousand dollar position. So why would is that you what you? No. What are you asking for? I don't know for? what a step for it. What step for it? What did we figure total? 50, yeah, it's yeah. 50. So, it's going to be fit about 50 something. It's, I mean, that's yeah. the range. You think we can come in just under, like, just barely out of gas? That, I, I don't mind that that much, but I would just like to tell people 30, where you're going to be. You've got $35,000 for nine months. And we have a $1.2 million in free cash. What are, we, what are we arguing about? Like, why don't we just fund it for what we think we need? Set these offices up with the plan we want to go forward so what and you let gonna, the town what is, decide. What is this person going to get paid? When are they going to get well, paid? How much is this person going to get paid? <laughs> What's the salary? Well, I don't know where you're going. We're here. looking for a grade four. Grade four. And we, we generally only hire up to step three. Right. I get what you're saying. What, the money's what, there. So what I is that, what is that the amount? There. I what get is, what you're what saying. What is that yeah. amount? How many times do I have to ask the question? About one more time. What is a grade four? Step three, the yeah. annual salary. Well, where's your Where's your compensation oh, plan? It's you like should have it. I don't I have think, a one. I think it's like 40. <laughs> it's, it's like got high it 40s, like low, uh, 48 to 49. Okay, 48. That's so $4,000 4, a month, right? Two is 40. There's nine months left, 36,000. Right. You've got 36,000 in the saying. budget. I understand what you're saying, Skip. The, the issue is that we don't. For next year, so I, I hear what you're saying. Why don't we just saying. lay it out so for what we're we, going to do? You're suggesting that we change, that we would regrade the position, we would increase the salary, and do that in this fiscal year, knowing we have the money, although we don't really have the money for next year's budget yet. You haven't. But well, you don't of course have the you money don't. For anybody for next year, right? <laughs> but we're the whole but my idea point is, is to plan. But next year, when I come and say I need this extra money in the budget, now I have a person working already. Now I have a person that I've hired at this salary, and now I absolutely have to have that money. And now it's not We just the plan on being honest and upfront <laughs> with the people right yeah. away. So I'm just saying then, fine, if, you, if this is what you're saying, fine, we'll do the ad. We'll do the ad tonight. But when we come in April and say now we need four, whatever it is, the, four, the 12 to 14,000, I hope you're not going to say, where's the money going to come from? Because then I'm going to have a that person already the, working I'm always gonna say at that point. I'm always going to say that. But, <laughs> so, I mean, I, a lot of people hear, are starting to I say hear, that in town. <laughs> where's the money it's coming I, from? Tell them. But I hear right. what you I do of, understand right. what you're saying. What I'm saying is rationale. you don't need $14,000, so why yeah. put it in there? Because we will need it. We're trying to be transparent. No, you will not I, need it. I think this current year, you will not need it. But for next, I know. But it's not you're, next year. When you bring you next year's budget, are, budget are worry about that. We're never going to agree with each other on that. But I, I, I think we I agree. See, <laughs> do, maybe you <laughs> both agree. totally agree with each other <laughs> in, a, in a way. Um, I, I can understand both things that are happening. I don't think it's a constructive conversation <laughs> anymore. But I do think that there is some benefit to you know, letting the town know exactly well, which item, what money is going to go You can in. do that. And right. you, that that's yeah. not a problem. I, I hear 
what you're saying. Uh, I do agree with Skip. The the money's available to do right. it this year. For this year, year but do you right. do also do understand? Right. And I understand but there's what also you're saying. is there there's a procedure that you go through to change the whole thing. Right. Right. You go to the planning the personnel you board. go to the personnel board, you do there's the whole procedure that you go through. Providing that and everything works in a town. Yeah, I think it. That's the problem. Yeah, we have. We, we've we've been a, having to take a lot of this on our own and work hours here explaining this stuff because, you know, the, the, the infrastructure of this community has not been working. And it's been extremely okay, frustrating. So I if buy it, into the full time position, that's fine. And I don't really want to mm -hmm. talk about it anymore. I just think that if there's a process to go through, it should be done. And if yes. there's funding there, that it doesn't make any sense to ask for $14,000 right now. I, I agree with Skip on this one. Um, but I, I but also. But then it leaves a doubt for, right. for us. So we hire so someone why, at that why salary. So why doesn't the warrant say something like we want to change this position to this other position yeah, instead of saying we want fourteen thousand dollars that we don't actually need? Because, well, you because, don't because put the warrant just gets you the yeah. 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 yeah, we don't have do to but and, get that yeah. detailed in the warrant. You know, we, we just, just want to make sure the money's allotted for the plans that we have going forward and the positions we plan going forward. Then we'll deal with the rest of the minutia later of, you know, job description and positions and planning board and all that but we have you know okay. there's only very minimal times where you can go to a, your town to ask so i guess them yeah we're, we're asking for professional discretion mm -hmm. to use that money um, and not have to get in the weeds about it and it's it's fourteen thousand, and you have 1.2 million in free cash so i i don't understand the the level of debate about this <laughs> We're trying to yeah. run your town. I don't understand to, why to, you're to asking for fourteen thousand dollars. You know, <laughs> well, and I've explained what what it so, is. So, you, so if you hire you someone at a salary that's not budgeted for fiscal year twenty, right. and then the committees decide, now we don't want to pay that person that. I'm not sure we don't think that's apply for that job. If we're it not wasn't in that, the budget. That's Personally, necessary. I would be well, we really have, we, reluctant as an employee. So we can so we can change course and just get someone in there part-time to do a part-time job but that level of service so, is gonna I think I finally is, understand what you're asking what you're asking is to change the budget so that it reflects a full-time person at a full-time person's salary for the whole year with the expectation that a quarter of the year is gone so when you hire somebody at that position at the end of the year you're gonna give back correct whatever correct so now I finally day understand day. the question yes. <laughs> after an hour and a half of discussion. That was a great summary. We did it. That's right. That's right. We are that's asking, we recognize we are asking we'll for the full time equivalent, and we are part way through the year. But as Mike said, and, and Trevor said, we, and I've hopefully said, we are trying to be transparent and we are trying to set ourselves up for the future, and we want to you know, do that with all of the uh, the components in place and not be coming back in the spring and having the same discussion when we have somebody so seated we, we, but not but to not dismiss your point that we do have a process with personnel so to go through so let me recognize that again this is one of those things that this is so let's assume someplace along the way that the select board decided that they wanted to hire some position whatever it is and it's at whatever the payroll is and it's 60,000 bucks a year and they're going to hire the person in January January 1st yep. in other words 30,000 bucks is what it's going to cost why would you come to the town and ask that they put $60,000 in a new budget for a position it only if it's only going to cost thirty thousand dollars for that year uh, would you do that that might be a little bit different it's absolutely no different it is a little bit different absolutely not one i owed it different you're, you're talking about a new position that you're just going to pull out of thin air and you, that's a new that's, position that's combining that's a new position it's combining it is a we new it is a brand position. new position it, it does not exist today well, it does, because there's one person sitting there and you've got another half. You're combining. You're right. Technically, it's 
one full-time position you're, versus two half-time. Get, you've got money for a grade three, money for a grade two. You're saying, I want a grade four person in there. Yeah. What's it going to cost you for a grade four person? $36,000. Actually, it's going to cost 50. you less for, th for nine months. I'm not talking months. I'm talking the position. Okay, so it's a $48,000. Make it easy for me. Gotcha. <laughs> $48,000. How long is it going to be there? Nine months. He's going to be there for four month, years. $36,000. Four years. He's going to be there for four years. Skip. How is that any different than a new? It's brand new. We don't have the person there. We don't have to worry because we have the money and it's just we're talking about right. minutiae here. You have the money. We have the money. You have the money. Right. We have the money to do it either way. We want to just fund it correctly. So, and that would be the correct way. Okay. Thirty-six thousand. We'll disagree. <laughs> Moving on. Please don't forget the benefits too. I don't. Go I don't. I think of those. Time. I think of those all the time. We haven't even talked about. You're not doing anything for the, uh, to the, insurance. I'm not doing anything for OPEB either. I mean, I'm, there's so much we're not doing. Retirement too. So I'll Another take person. the extra money. And we're talking about the $14,000, we will put it in insurance and OPEP. Yeah, and just for the record, when we I'm do the insurance up. budgeting, we always put a little, some extra. you know, some extra in, in case we have hires. So we, you know, we're not adding that in specifically, but we do account for that when we're doing budgeting. So, so we're holding on seven, eight, and, or, well, we're holding on six quite a few. Seven. Five, six, seven, eight. Um, Where are we here? Nine was. So eight. Eight, we didn't actually talk about much. That's the 75. We, yeah, we talked about that planning board. position. And that's kind of what we've been doing now um, through FERCOG, right? Mm -hmm. And so the, FERCOG hasn't hired anybody. And uh, we need some money to help our planning board kind of write these decisions. So, so what, have we, what have we done before we jump to number Yep. Uh, Article 6 and Article 7, what are we doing on those? We're tabling those until the next meeting. Put them okay. on. And I'll get right. You know, more solid six, figures for you. You're going to have okay, an actual so dollar value. Next two weeks from now, yes, we will address them. So, and I'll have them on the 25th. You'll get them on the 26th. Whatever we did on the other articles, we're doing this. With. So, yep. can we take yep. that vote on Article Six? <laughs> Was that no I move action? That or? we hold oh. until the next meeting. Okay. I'll second for that. Article Six and Seven. Okay. Great. And eight. Nope. Six and six seven. Six and seven. Six and seven. Okay. 926 at 6 p.m. Is that the next meeting? You decide of this finance six committee, seven. yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. six, yeah, that's right. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. So hold or no action, whatever you want to. Okay. Number eight. So this, we, we talked about this as well. This was the. Um, money that we would wanted to put uh, to support the planning board account. Um, we had generally, if you look at the planning board, the planning board budgets, I find my glasses too. <laughs> um, you know, generally right along, we've always kind of had 7,500 or 6,700 and then you know, in the last couple years, like last year, we, we just felt like, well, they weren't using it. Most of it, FERCOG was dealing. And, and um, w you know, we thought, well, why are we funding all this money if they're right. not actually using it? Well, now that FERCOG is kind of not helping and we thought we w were might be going to need some of that money. I know a lot of it would be done by people that when they apply for something, they have to pay for services and that kind of thing. Yeah, but, I, I guess. I know yeah. we took the $7,500 out of the budget, and we took the $7,500. There was a reason that we took it out. Yep. Um, there was a few other boards like that, too, that were just kind of sitting on money, and they weren't ever spending it. And right. We just thought, let's bring it down. Why exactly. are we budgeting it? If we and I'm not sure it? why they weren't spending it. Yep. I, I'm not fully clear on that either, but I think that we are going to have a need to support the planning board with the stuff that's going on. This year, and so um, did, did we add six hundred dollars to their account last year? Did we uh, um, transfer in, or I just see five hundred for operational expenses and planner services is five hundred, but I don't. That's for twenty. I'm not sure what they spent. Well, last year, last year they spent fifteen hundred and fifteen dollars. 
Okay. And we they had a budget of a thousand, and then we yep. added six hundred. And I don't know where that came from, the six hundred. So. Hmm. I don't see it. I don't know why. No, I'm looking. I'm looking at the. Oh, oh at the report. Yeah. I got you. Yep. So, uh, <clears throat> and it seemed to me that the argument for reducing the 7,500 uh, came from someplace. There is a revolving fund. There's a revolving, yeah, revolving fund, fund right. somewhere, and and that is that was just on? building up money and not being spent. Okay. So I don't know what the, the story is there. Uh, You're right. You're right. There was that money. Do, and I don't know if that's accessible to them instead of... Do, um, do, uh, do you or, know or the requirements? We may have used. We may have used. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah true. there is an... I know... I mean, Brenda would, have, yeah, Brenda would have the total, but I know... Brenda will be able to yeah. shed some light on that. So she, she is very familiar with the revolving fund. All right, so just so that I'm on the right page. Is this the right line? Yep, on the board, correct. Okay, yep. so mm -hmm. I don't see the extra 600. It's right. just 1,000, they spent 913. And, and if you go back to the, uh, if you go back to the, to the June. June one. Which is June on. final. And what page you want? Page three. Page three. Second line, 175, planning board. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, 600. I. Mis that's a mistake. Oh, I that's zoning next, appeals. Next okay, line, got it, got it. Next line it. down. That was my mistake. So they spent $913. Correct. Yeah. Right now they have $1,557 in their planning board revolving at the end of uh, 831. What, and what did, what was expended from that? Uh, four, it looks like 400 Oh no, they received 400 actually for this year so far. So they started, the beginning balance was what, 1157. In the revolving account? In the revolving account. What's, yeah. the, what's that fund number? Um, 226. Yes, that was, the revolving fund is depleted, so it's about 10 to 1,000 bucks. So that was really the reason that you, they weren't spending it before. That's why we had backed it off. But now they used up everything pretty much in there. Well, they did. Last year, though, they started off with $1,500. They brought in 6000 They expended 6000 They ended up with a uh, balance of 1100 So the question is, do we really need 7500 well, uh, that's, uh, that's out of my realm. I don't know. I know that they've been asking for support and help, and, you know, hopefully that position will do that for them. But I, I also, I don't, I don't know. So the thought was that they had, well, what was in the revolving fund to begin with? He was thinking it was 1000 bucks. They brought in six. They yeah. spent six. Uh, they've, they've had lots, at, at one point in time, they had probably close to $20,000 yes. in that account. Right. But then we contract with Pat, and then then her, she would redo that contract, and we'd spend more because they needed her help more. So I, I, I think even though we said 15000 I think the last contract was for 20000 previous to this last year. Um, we were asking for, what, 7500 bucks to, to fill that up a bit, and then... Hopefully, money from applicants would fund the rest of their business. So, so right. So they get applicant fees in. It goes into the revolving mm -hmm. fund. But right now, that revolving fund is sitting at about a thousand bucks. So, if I look, if I look at this, uh, Brenda, beginning balance last year, 2019, uh, was fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. And they brought in six thousand. Yep. Sixty-one twenty. Yep. They spent sixty-four sixty. Mm -hmm. So the net change was negative four hundred bucks. Right, and we had Pat for only half of the year. Okay. Yeah, she left in January. So I guess the point is that we're looking just to protect so them and have money, some money. So if we money, to do with it, then I'm going to put it that way. Well, well, we have, like I said, um, Pat was helping them out with writing decisions, making sure they're filed on time and distributed properly. Um, but all, I'm not sure. I don't want to dictate what they need. Yeah. We're meeting with them on September 16th, next Monday. Um, I just know. Maybe they could 
um, support to and come back with a figure yeah, as well. I well, mean, I had I, asked if he could come tonight, and I didn't get a reply back, so he may be tied up. He's got some, John, John oh, yes, to, yeah. and I just figured right. maybe, maybe we could have that information yeah. for you at next meeting, We're too. Not, would, would he be right. willing to come two weeks from now? I could ask, yeah, see we'll, if he could, yeah. We'll talk to him. He should, we, I, he really, um, you know, he's, he really needs support, and he should reach out and, and express that to you as well, like what yeah. he needs in terms of that. So we'll go, um, you know, like I said, we'll meet with him and see. I, the, I won't speak for anybody else, but I don't have a problem with, with the full basic philosophy, whether it's mm -hmm. $1,000 or 10000 or 7500 We just want to know. Fabulous. We need okay. the money, we need Great. the money. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. We'll come so back again, one more. We put that on hold until yep. the, uh, hold that one. Yeah. Who, is, who is coming to? It will be John Waite, John who's John the chair of the planning Wait. board. John Waite. Wait. Yep. Wait. Bring the whole planning board. Good luck. All those in favor of putting it on hold? Aye. All right. Opposed? Unanimous. Last. Is it last now? Next. Nope. Second, nope. Second to last. We added Nine. in just an article for the 350th. Um, it it isn't, we're not asking for an appropriation, although we did appropriate, I think, a, we did a small we amount, right? We appropriated 10000 at annual meetings. There's no place for it to go. So right. this is just setting up, the, setting up the, the celebration fund so we can put it in there. Do we have to vote? So you have an account. You do. Yeah. yeah. You have to vote it. It's a pursuant because it's a revolving account pursuant to 53 e, uh, I instead of E and a half. You don't have to vote the E and a half. You can have those in a bylaw now, but the I you do have okay. to vote pursuant to Mass General Law to adopt it. Set up the revolving fund. Our so special just fund. setting up a revolving fund. Special fund. Yep. Just to be able to put the money that's in there. Just the formality of it. That's all. I right. move we support that as written. Any questions? <laughs> Did anybody second? Do we? Was there a motion? Yeah. Maybe. Second? Second? Yeah. Second. Yep. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. And number 10. So the most expensive one of all. Yes. So, so this is uh, just kind of a, a background. It's, this is the um, New England Natural Bakers property uh, across from the, from the town garage, which um, was hopefully it's going to be built into a factory to make bakery goods um, and employ people in town. And with the new financial town team coming in, um, they felt they were better off staying where they are and building their business there a little bit more, being more efficient there. Uh, so they decided to allow the town the first right of refusal to purchase the property back for what exactly what we paid for it. Although I think we kept the deposit, maybe. Um, no. No. We had the a, deposit was applied against. It was okay. Yeah. All right. So. I was hoping that <laughs> we had some money. But um, anyway, so, uh, so they had given us an extension because they knew we had to go through process to do this. Um, we only had 30 days, but um, through our attorneys and, and them, they gave us the extension to allow us to get through. They, they said they would extend it further if they needed to, but we think this would give us enough time to, to purchase the property back so the town has control over that. And, and I am not in favor the, the, of the, the agreement did provide the town with a right of first refusal? Correct. To buy it back at the same price that we sold or it for. A right to buy it back at the same, whichever it is. So Correct. This is really just exercising the, the right in there. Yes, to have to have access to that property again so we could decide, and you know, what we want to do. The dollar with amount is well, the, the acquisition cost is the same amount we paid, which is 357280 And I have asked council, um, they had recommended that we put in money for the closing and any legal costs, too. And so she's getting me a, a number okay. for that. Oh, okay. So you, how much that, have right? we spent on that property through, uh, as far as legal? Because um, I know there's issues going through and we have lawyers involved and so on and so forth. Does for, anybody know? The additional monies that we paid lawyers now. You mean for when we bought it to begin with, or just since Natural no, Bakers mean, had it? From the time that we bought it, yeah. Oh yeah, the time yeah. we bought it, I can imagine. I don't. But I'm for, not sure how much for. for the New England Natural Bakers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. In the neighborhood of 1.7, 1.8 million dollars for 16 or 17. La 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 la. la. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's unfortunate. This is a bargain if, if that price was good. Well, I know we paid we paid 
it was about one hundred and four thousand dollars. I figured out one day. An acre. An acre, right? Is that right? One hundred and four. Well, that's what an acre goes about, for in Deerfield. Well, we. <laughs> so this is a bargain. <laughs> We're getting it. It is a bargain. Well, it was a loss when we sold it. I know. <laughs> so it's so a now bargain. it's a now it's a situation of and once again, there's two sides of the coin here. There is. There is, is that the the dollar amount to buy it back. I guess you could call it reasonable, right? You know, <laughs> but because we're buying back we for ourselves, it, it wasn't reasonable it wasn't. for that right. dollar That's, amount. And I think, but now again, we come back to the same old situation of: Does the town really want to be in a position where once again they own property and they've got to market it or whatever, or is it better off just to say? Let it go. You deal with no. it. No. And I know we come back to the control thing. Yes. In. There's your green space. Yep. Uh, I think <laughs> no, I know. I I hear you. I really do. But I think. I think we need to. We need to have control over that property. We, we can. We can. And I think we could sell it for more than this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can decide what that control looks like, but there's no sense in talking about that until we actually have the property. Yeah. So I would I would hope that that we would uh, vote to buy the property back. Where exactly is it? It's right across from the town Oxford garage. Pickle. It's the uh, okay. the old pickle factory. Okay. It's the largest lot in okay. there. It's about just under ten acres. So a little acres. over nine acres. Yeah, yeah or yeah, just over nine. It's a so what we do we do we need to actually put do we need to actually put in an amount for the uh, closing closing and. Well, if you want, I mean, I have a flat rate, um, you know, contract with council, but I don't know that I don't know if it's, it's not going to cover any additional costs like that. So that's all I was just thinking. Well, but, you know, but what what amount do we need to put fund. in? Then I don't think it's going to be that much. Maybe a couple thousand, if even that. I don't know. But uh, it might, you know. She's like I said, we we don't necessarily have to, but I just. I left it as as Lisa had presented it with a sum of money, and she was the one that said we should probably put. Not just the cost of the acquisition, but any other incidental costs, or we need to. But consider we don't know them. what that, those numbers are. No, just, she's going to get them hopefully. Okay. So I, you want? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Do you want to leave this one until next? Well, right now it does say a sum of money to to fund said purchase, but it does say that the parcel of land is for the price of two fifty seven two eighty. So hmm. that's how I had left it for now. There will be, a, you know, there'll be a motion that we'll have to identify what the funding source is going to be as well. Yeah. So that has yet to be. Mm -hmm. I, I would propose maybe we vote on this and then if there are relevant other fees that need to come to the Finance Committee, we can always vote again. Mm -hmm. We'll bring, we can bring those documented. Through. Do you have a, uh, a sense of, I mean, are you going to, we're not recommend, we're not talking about the, the way to fund it at this point. Are you? No, I think we need to talk about that. That's what I'm thinking you're going to want to do before you make a recommendation. And the, the, since, you know, I guess I've been the only one that's been talking with a board of selectmen. My thought was uh, that we probably can, I would like to see us wait until the town meeting in, in April mm -hmm. to decide whether we want to permanently bond or, or, or borrow or whatever. Or just do a bond, ban or something. Or ban, or we use free cash. But at this point in time, let's not use the free cash. Right. Yeah. And instead, just borrow. Until we and, see where and, we're until at. Until we yes. see where we are exactly. in, in April. Yep. And, you know, we pay some of it, all of it, or none of it. Yep. Uh, and just pay the borrowing cost. That's my thoughts. Right. I, I would agree with that completely. Yeah, and I then think you have a better idea where you're at for the year and yeah. right. see how much you want to. Well, again, it comes down to where's the money coming from right. because this is, you know, it's a big good chunk, chunk of money. Of change, yeah. Yep. Even though it's at what it is for acreage. Right. Uh, myself, I would probably at this point have to abstain because I'd like to give this some more thought because I see pros to it and I see cons to it and mm -hmm. I just, the, can you, you know, I need to, I need to think about this a little bit more myself, but 
if you guys want to bring it to a vote, you bring it to a vote. And I'm interested in the, because we've heard the pros, but I'm interested in what your negative views of it are. Briefly, just so I have it, make sure I have Well, we idea. haven't done well when we, as a town, we haven't done very well Selling when it? we've been involved okay. with property and holding property and supposedly protecting it. Uh, <laughs> you know, you just take a look at what we paid for that property, as right. I just referred to, mm -hmm. $104,000 an acre, roughly, and here we are, we were selling it for about 35 an acre uh, on this particular piece. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and once again, there was nothing on that property when that first came about to purchase it, and we ended up with a highway garage over there, and Myself personally, and a, other, a lot of other people that I've spoken with, that wasn't a place for a highway garage. Right. We had property out on the landfill that could have placed that mm -hmm. and left that prime property. Yeah. And then the available. alternative would be this land goes to whoever wants to buy it well, for the, industrial purposes. They will buy it. You know, my, my fear is that the cost is, you know, is a very good deal so that we could even just buy it and turn it around and sell it at a profit or at least have, I would like to see economic development there or at least have a town discussion of, you know, there's talk in town about senior housing, senior center. Is that, you know, it's centrally located to town. It's, you know, within walking distance and all of that. But I, I, that's, that's a huge, that's a huge, you know, discussion, but I'm more, I'm more about economic development. I want to see jobs in the town, and if we sell it, I think, you know, we sold the parcel across the street. I don't know how many acres that was for 220, I think, or yeah, in that 50, rate. Yeah, 50,000 an acre. Yeah, so um, a whole lot more than, than, than this is. So I know that we could. We chance of doing better at selling it. We could do better right. at selling we it. Is that fortunate, fortunately, we, fortunately had, we had we could, one person yeah. that really pursued that and convinced those people to come in, you're yeah, talking about yeah. the machine. That's, and that's again, that's right. the, a planner like a town, you know, we need we need so. that support in town, you know, in town to kind of do that stuff. Yeah, there's so gotta we'll, be other opportunities. We can, we can delay this or we can take, yeah, if, we, if, we had, if we had the total number of dollars, I'd be more than happy to vote it tonight, but since we, we don't wait. have the total number of dollars, then I And we, either way, we voted again, right? Yep. So. Pardon? I, I, in both of those scenarios, we could vote it again. Yeah. So I say we vote for it now so that at least if there's so some the catastrophe, on it's on the record <laughs> at least what it's the there. view is now. But Sounds safe. So I don't really care recommend that we... Uh, yeah, I can make the motion to, to recommend I'm our... I'm not sure what it's going to look like because I, I want the word borrowing in there. Okay, uh, you can you can formulate it because I'm sure you I'll want to amend. Do you want to amend the article? You mean? Well, it will be in the motion. We'll oh, in the motion. The okay. Finance committee statement. So. You want to recommend Article Ten? Recommend Article Ten at three hundred fifty-seven thousand two hundred eighty dollars, uh, uh, and that the financing be through borrowing. And do you also want to be informed of the? We'll have to get. We'll have to do it again in two weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Okay. Opposed? Abstain. Okay, three, zero, one. Now, as I like to yell and scream at the Board of Selectmen for going meetings that lasted over two hours, ours has lasted for two hours and 40 minutes, so. Well, there are, there, there are, there is a Board of Selectmen member here, so you can't take all the blame. It, it was a really good, uh, informative meeting, though, thank you. It was, yeah, it was, thank you very much. It was great. All right, I gotta get home. Good night. Good night. Thanks, Brenda. Good night, all. Thank Everybody you, Brenda. come back again when you can't stay so long. <laughs> Good night, Brenda. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so. Diana, as far as that letter for uh, all the department heads, when do you think you end up doing that Did we and have sending that out? Next week. Um, okay, that'll yeah. be good. All right.
Come up with Jer. You'll be able to get all the department heads, including the school. I have a, uh, a meeting on Tuesday. So okay. Oh, great. Hey, oh, you're going to give me perfect. a call tomorrow? Or drop by? Yeah. Okay. Did you? Probably. Not. Okay. Probably not. All right. Yeah. If you did, so I wasn't way, there. Everybody I don't know. I can make a motion to So they can at least start thinking about it. Um, or tell me your time. That's great. I'll I'll leave you don't mind if you send me a copy of whatever you <laughs> produce. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Exactly. That would be perfect. You make an appointment for a haircut? I do. You guys this is vote to adjourn our meeting? So bad. I could do a man bun. I'm just going to write down That's how bad it is. Sure, I wanna, um, so I'm gonna go and You type. want me to tell you what we did? I just wanna <laughs> no, make sure I'm gonna put on the Article 1 and Article 2. I'm gonna vote recommended. I guess the only thing I wanna know is I'm gonna put on Article 9 recommended. On Article 10. I got you in the calendar already. So, what time? I'm thinking like two yes. or three or something like that. Okay. Article yeah. 10. Yeah, it, it passed three. Mine's, can you write mine's obviously it was free. The only thing, the only thing I've been doing is taking uh, I we took the same bar. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, and now we're pulling I understand, and I think that's what we're going to do anyway. We're not we're thinking we were going to do that. Yes, that wasn't so bad until I got the area over the. But it was definitely as part of the statement in the motion. Right. Yeah. Because we because we you know, did that ceiling, so we're gonna leave that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, or bar away or something. Anything upstairs in the yeah, attic. So working on yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Was that record or trust? It's trust. Oh, okay. So you don't have a lot of room. So we ended up with yeah. the pull, we pulled the ceiling down. Oh, if we, we pulled the ceiling nice down, it wouldn't have been. Mike. Right. Thank you. We'll see you later. See you. Good night. Take care. You too. Uh, but it was, well, we had problems with mice. Oh. We've had problems with I don't know. water issues. Hmm? I have everything. I know. Well, I was thinking I might walk home, but I don't want to. Do you want to ride? Are you there? No, I can. Yeah, I'm just going to get the two minutes. Ten more. Am I on still? Oh, you guys have adjourned. Which road? South Melbourne oh. Road. Oh, yeah. No. Can I have a motion okay. to adjourn? Oh, we, I made it. Julie seconded it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I wrote that down. I